Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait. Before we begin, I gotta explain one thing. Now, we had a special guest come over this week. This is, trust me, we had lots of fun. I can't wait for you guys to meet him. But as we are having fun and we are getting some liquids in us, we may or may not have forgot to press the record button for this episode. So unfortunately, you guys won't be able to see our wonderful smiling faces, but you'll still get to hear all of our fun adventures. So uh, can't wait to meet you at the table. Howdy! And welcome to the Lunch Table Podcast, where a bunch of awkward people get together every week to tell you how to solve your fucking problems. Because we know. So, no. We, we know. know. <laughs> we know more than the average person. Right. That's why we release this right. on Mondays, to be heard on Tuesdays, and to be rewatched on Wednesdays. Yeah, what they said. We're <laughs> to be Sol- forgotten about <laughs> Thursdays. What the fuck is up with that? We're the Solomon Grundy of podcasts. I just went for a walk from my house and ended up near some house, so... Yeah, well, we kidnapped you. <laughs> and oh, got- it's, n- it's not because you don't know people, and it's not because you don't see us every Thursday. No, you just, right. you're a wanderer. Yeah. Right. And the Stranger. special guy, the special guy that we kidnapped today in our unmarked white van, with this awful fucking oh, jersey marked. on. It's marked. It's on the inside. Yeah, it's marked, it's marked with his blood stains now. <laughs> wow. Oh, <sorry>. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a dent of his head on the side of it. <laughs> That's why he's wearing that. <laughs> Trey, the anonymous hippopotamus. Woo! What? Did you just call him fat? I did. <laughs> I he did. just well, went to the gym. He does he did not go to the gym today to make to feel like shit. I did four miles be... at the gym on the treadmill. Four miles. This well, big boy went four well, miles. Dude, he wanted to look swole for us. That's right. Well, then why did he go four miles? First, I need to teach you. I need to teach you. I mean, listen, you go ahead and walk four miles, but then you do mine. <laughs> I just oh. started a week ago. Oh, damn. <laughs> damn. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, it, it's always tricky when uh, I, I don't use, like, last names and stuff. Because, like, I'll show you the format that I usually do with my co-host. That's right, my right-hand man. Right over here. <laughs> Mr. Google himself. Yeah. Drew, it only takes me one lick to get to the center of Trey. Watsonizer! That's his last name, Tootsie Pop. Oh. That's my last name for him. <laughs> Tootsie Pop. Huh? Tootsie Pop. All right. <laughs> yeah, at least he's not the owl. One. Yeah. A two. That Dude, was terrifying. Do you remember? He eats it. Yeah. So, that... Who's more annoying, that owl or Count Count? I'm the owl. naked kid. Can I know why is there... Tootsie Pop? <laughs> why is there a naked no, kid in a Tootsie you're... Pop commercial? I... <laughs> you're... <laughs> <laughs> There's just a naked kid in the forest. Oh, yeah. And some owls telling him about licks. Dude, the 80s was a weird time. True. I think it came out before that. What, what color is your outer hard shell? Not that I see it. <laughs> Orange. Okay. Well, Drew's favorite color. Hell yeah. Mine too. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I liked you. Yep. And the guy who doesn't like orange. But that's the, the team orange that wears yeah. orange. Your host with the most. Shirts that can be used as toilet paper. Oh. Well, I do own a lot of Steelers shirts. People bought them and didn't realize I was a Browns fan, and that's basically what I use them for. Oh. Yeah. Uh, did you make the playoffs? Uh, yeah. Welcome. Did you? Welcome. <laughs> no, Welcome. We didn't make the yeah, I know you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I made the wild card. That's kind of like it. No, we didn't make the wild we didn't card. Make the wild when you went into the wild card round. No. No. Not the Browns. The Steelers. No. No, the Steelers did. No, they didn't. Steelers missed the playoffs. Yeah, completely. We needed the Dolphins to lose, and the Dolphins lost. Yeah. So, like, screwed us over. Screwed them over. And we both missed. Doesn't matter. Both our teams sucked this year. Oh, yeah. yeah. We, were, we were out first. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no, no. But that shirt could be used as toilet paper. That was quite yeah. And the guy who doesn't use regular paper is DP. Carl Jones. You I use just, that one ply sawdust. Dude, the, cloth, the cloth just grips better. It just grips better for cleaning. We're going to go have with, to use two sheets. We're going to go down the road. You tell me your brand. Sherman. Wait, wait. You used one ply without <laughs> even, like, folding it up a bunch? Well, no, one, one shirt kind. Oh, one shirt. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. One yeah. cloth. Yeah. Yeah. As long yeah. as you buy quality shitty shirts. Yeah, yeah. Well, Steelers usually make their shirts very <laughs> high quality. <laughs> I use a terrible towel. <laughs> <laughs> well, right. I bet you that towel is pretty terrible at this point. <laughs> it probably looks like a brown towel now. 
<laughs> Let's get into it. <laughs> this will be fun. Drew, how many how many corn and nut pieces are on that rag of yours? I don't eat fiber. <laughs> <laughs> You eat that, corn. No, nah, dude, I preface it with a pine cone first. Oh, hey, <laughs> get, the, get the hard shit off the outer walls. Yeah. Nature's toilet paper. <laughs> dude, we're, we're still at zero on our shit count. You know that. What do you mean shit count? Well, it's not there. Oh. I'm pointing to something that's not there that we've okay. been referencing to put there, which is the I workplace. I live with or without you. Do I that's a... not what it says. No, it says not... the saddest day. I came across was when I learned that life goes on without me. Oh. I need to know more about the shit count though, because if I have a goal, <laughs> no, no, that no, no, I no, need no. To... It's quite the opposite. It's like workplace accidents, and how many days we didn't talk about poop, and we can't get past one. Not uh, one podcast without talking about. It ain't poop. gonna. Yeah, we ain't getting yeah, past. Yeah, we ain't getting past it today either. <laughs> it's not gonna happen. <laughs> we, we, we've There's even no tried way. to be nice and said like when we say shit, poop, like swearing shit. Like, that's not talking about poo. And we still lose it. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, we've had multiple talks about accidents. We both... Apparently, the toilet isn't easy for us. You know? So Dude. we have accidents about that. Dude, that's the new name for the podcast. What? Fucking Acc- eating a peanut butter and jay on the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Nutty stories. <laughs> <laughs> Fruit, uh, fruits and nuts in a bowl. Ooh, that's just kind of <laughs> dirty. <laughs> that's real dirty. So, Trey, you said you've had uh, once to start a podcast, right? Yep. So what what was your like podcast idea? Or what, what would you do if you had at that time? So our idea for our podcast, so me and my buddy Tom, uh, we want to do, it's going to be called, So Now What Do You Want to Talk About? Ooh, I kind of like that. So the intro is going to be revolving around, so now what do you want to talk about? And uh, so far, I mean, this is nothing set in stone, but what we've kind of gauged is that uh, we've learned that we can talk about anything. Yeah, that's kind of, so like when we were making ours, that's, you have to ask yourself, what are we aiming for, right? And I always wanted ours to be more like a radio show where there was no topic. You just tuned in every day and whatever the fuck was talked about was talked about and you went on yeah yeah right. something right. cool that somebody else brought up which is why we wound up going with the lunch table because when you were at lunch in school people would come up and say hey did you see this movie hey did you hear you know so and so is yeah. having an affair or something like that yeah, it's where the tea fun was things yeah. to talk about it's yeah. where the tea Definitely. was spilled you know the water you know what cooler. i just want to say i love this reject table that i'm at right now <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Is I sat at the reject table yeah. all throughout high school. Dude. You know, like like everyone, like you start going around the first day of school, and like you start realizing that like people pre-planned this before they even walked in on the yeah, first day. Me. And then not you've me. got like three tables to pick from, and those are the reject tables. I was always picking out of the reject tables. Yes, but honestly, those are some of my best friends Dude. that I've ever had. Those are like going I forward. thought you were taking a shot at my carpentry skills. <laughs> for this oh no, no. I was like, you guys. <laughs> no, I was actually taking a shot at you. <laughs> and yeah, you. Yeah. Yeah, he I'm okay was, with that. He was sitting there like, listen, you can make fun of me, but you can make fun of I my fucking it. table. Guys. I did it. You made this. It's yeah, nice. Very no, nice. it's not. It's not <laughs> nice. Not nice. <laughs> it's not nice. Don't fucking lie now. But it, it's it got cracks. It's okay. Yeah, dude, it's our first it's attempt at making a poxy table, and it's not quite as easy as what you thought. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like... It's not like the fucking videos. Yeah. Right. Just pour here. Do this. <laughs> oh, so, that looks simple. Well, the the now what do you want to talk about podcast? So the yeah. premise behind it is we're going to start just by like, just like you guys, like Googling things yeah. and having general conversation. But we'd like to be able to expand it to our audience to give us topics to talk about. Whatever is like hot, trending, yeah. or just random stuff that they want us to talk about. Yeah. Whether they're curious about something that about us or if they're curious about something that like our opinions on things yeah. and so on I mean, so that's forth. Basically, so. That's, true. that's basically what you want to go like the way we run it. I mean, sometimes we've had people, uh, we'll do movie reviews. We've had new people come in, tell us what movies to watch and stuff. Uh, but a lot of people are shy, you know, they just kind of want to watch you do your thing and they're kind of passive listeners. It's <laughs> a lot of them. are. Right. They're, you're not even really going to subscribe, and I, Drew and I don't even really push that, to tell you the truth. We yeah. do have our little plug, and we kind of make jokes, but it feels weird. Like, I feel hey weird guys, sitting here like... Hey, guys, subscribe to their show. 
Whoa. I'm here so they can get subscribers. <laughs> you better press that fucking button. <laughs> All right, to me. <laughs> don't waste my time. We're going to throw you in the white van if you don't. <laughs> Give you alcohol, throw you in a van, and make you do a show. That's right. <laughs> what are you doing That's in That's what Canada? we did with Donnie. That is what we did with Donnie. He Dude, liked Donnie, it, though, I'm sure. Uh, no, he was a little upset about the test. Oh. He did really bad, and he was upset. Oh. Which, by the way, I, I like. it was funny because things were said, but I went back and watched that video several times, and I warned him of each question four or five times. And asked both of them if they could answer these types of questions. And they both went, yeah, no problem. <laughs> I just want you to know that that one question about Beyonce, I would not have got it if I didn't do a little studying like three days beforehand. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. The t- you still got it. You won. <laughs> I know. So, Donnie was like, I feel like you sabotaged me. I was like, how? Drew wasn't getting them either. <laughs> it would have been rigged if I was just it. <laughs> I was like, but you're both missing them. I, what? I, I had to keep it close. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> so why do we know you? That is true. How yeah. do we know you? Well, again, I was just taking a walk from my house and a white van rolled up on me and my head hit the side of it. Yeah. And the next thing you know, there was blood all around me, but they cleaned me up before they put me on this podcast. Right. Well, right. it was coming out of your ear. Yeah. Drew drove a little quick. Yeah. 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 I told him to go 25. <laughs> so now I'm here. Uh, no, uh, from bowling league. Uh, yeah. Cause we're bowlers. We're bowling. Um, well, Some we're bowlers. <laughs> well, He's better than others. We just bowl. <laughs> <laughs> He's better than me. <laughs> It's no, my that's first year though, isn't it? Your first year. Oh yeah, yeah. but yeah, I'm shit. Yeah, but you got you got a natural talent to you. We we learning. Yeah, well, your whole team's progressing really well. Oh yeah. But uh, once again, I found a way to bring bowling on to the fucking podcast. Okay. That's right. <laughs> well, yeah. So bowling league though is yeah. how we met, and uh, I've been in this area around you guys for like uh, let's see, seven years at this point. Oh okay. Where did you go to school? Seneca. Oh, well, I mean like high school. You don't Sen- Seneca Valley. Seneca. Okay. Yeah, I grew up in Zillianople. Oh okay. okay. Yep. Okay, because I remember... Z-Town, Zilly. Z-Town. I remember you were talking about it, and then we were making jokes, because now you're a pretty professional fella. But you were saying in high school, that was not the case. No. And you're like, it's kind of funny where I ended up, you know? Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so I was wondering... I, I didn't like, take high school seriously. Me neither. That's why I was surprised that we didn't bump into each other, because usually, you know, birds of a feather. Yeah. So I was Well, like, we did end up in the same bowling league, so... Yeah, yeah we did end up <laughs> <laughs> eventually... <laughs> So, Which means Drew's just like us, even though he did pay oh, attention yeah. in high school. <laughs> <laughs> so one of the things, I, I, I filled you in on a little bit of this. Uh, I did some classic, like, early 2000s stalking on you. Okay. <laughs> I found you on Facebook. Oh, okay. okay. And I decided okay. to go through it. And, you, you, you know, your profile is public, so you're asking for it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually, I thought I got rid of, I thought I turned, like, all oh, You oh, missed one. Shoot. You and I are not friends yet. Oh, man. Uh-oh. You missed or one. Or I have properties that, you know, Phil, Phil hooked me up. Oh, we do have, so if you if you look behind you, there's a picture of two disturbing motherfuckers drawn, right? Those two disturbing motherfuckers are uh, who we think Phil, which is the FBI agent who listens to every podcast. Because when you do news and you do news about like CP and certain things, why does he look like Kyle from Tenacious D? You gotta, you gotta ask Drew. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta ask Drew. Yeah, <laughs> he does. He does. Shout out to Shout Kyle. Out to Kyle. <laughs> Kyle Gas. Got- Jables, I hope you're watching this and show him. CJ looks like he has a big scar <laughs> on the side. He looks like Chucky. <laughs> <laughs> you got that shaving, I told you. <laughs> But, so I was on your Facebook, and I was kind of looking up some stuff, and of course, I, all this stuff you're saying, I already knew. <laughs> I knew you went to Seneca. Yeah, yeah. You know, I got nothing to hide here, though. <laughs> I'm just curious what you found. creeped out Coincidentally, you. and this is the part, uh, I like found out friend. you were married. Yeah. And I know your wife. And yeah. I already told you this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's how you found that out, because you were stalking me. Okay. Right. Stalking that's cool. And yeah. I'll file connection. the police report on Monday. They don't take them on Sundays. What I think it, what I think happened is a friend of a friend. So you're friends with your wife, obviously. That's how I was able to look at your profile. Oh, right on. So you might have to set it to even stricter. I think I'm just going to delete it or just 
go off the grid. <laughs> it doesn't work, bro. You're still you're still on there. Yeah, I know. you've been on there once. And now you're on there forever. It's so, like an STI. So you found one picture. What it, do you have it up? No, it was just like uh, uh. it was you when you were young. Okay. And uh, I was like, man, he looks nothing like he does. A beard does a good job. Oh, it does. It does, does. It. Me does without it. a beard is bad news bears. Dude, okay, so that's funny because I barely grow facial hair. Yeah. As we no. can see. I Dude, know. imagine <laughs> how handsome you'd look with an with, actual beard. With an actual beard because, like, the the person I'm kind of, you know, we're having a little fling with now. Smitten. Smitten. I showed her a picture of me without one, and she's like, don't ever shave. Yeah. I, and I don't even have much, dude. But it's like enough that it's like, don't shave. So me and my wife, um, she says I'm never allowed to shave my beard. And I told right. her, I was like, listen, if we ever get into that serious of a fight that you come home and my beard is gone, you know I mean business. Right, you know, you know <laughs> the love is I made it per- I made it very personal at that, at that level. It's gone. I walk in, I'm just standing there going, hi. <laughs> How do you like these cheeks? <laughs> and this baby face with no chin. <laughs> dude, mine is mine is horrible. My cheeks get even puffier than they are right now. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, exactly. Dude, it's like Same. when I shave, I haven't done it in a while, and my face swells up. It, it's because I'm naturally fat. But, <laughs> <laughs> but the beard helps. The beard helps. <laughs> well, like, even in, in high school, I don't know if you could see that far back, but I tried growing a beard, but it grew in all white trashy. And then oh, they used yeah. to call me Patches in high school because, like, I was That's trying funny. to grow a beard. Right. And it just didn't it, work. It just didn't work. It just didn't work. But, dude, I, have, I stuck I to it. I feel like. I stuck to it. In no seven... shame. I just let it go. I was like, I don't care what you guys think. Right. I have a beard. I can at least say I have a beard. Right. It might <laughs> in, be patchy, but it's In seventh and eighth grade, I actually had just as much facial hair as CJ did. Yeah, probably. Right? <laughs> I had just the little trashiest, trashiest goatee. Thank I you, guys. <laughs> I, like I like to make it a target. <laughs> it's like the bullseye. Throw your pies here. Do you, do you shave here? No. You don't. No. It literally just doesn't just, grow just, He's 116 yeah. Cherokee. It doesn't grow it. Oh, yeah. Wait, wait. Were you just... Do you get it here? I get, like, a random long hair here. That's uh, it. Like, nothing else. Literally, this is it. Dude, this is it. If I choose not to shave, this will grow just a little bit longer, and then that will be it. I won- I don't have body hair. Look at my arms. My arms, like... It's because, like, Drew didn't lie. I am Native American. And, like, have you ever seen a hairy Native American? No. You don't even see them with beards. You don't see Native Americans with beards. <laughs> We're going to Google this. Yeah, I... <laughs> wait a minute wait 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 no no they're, they're hairless people i've done a bunch of stuff for like native american culture like i've yeah. done a stuff i've done a lot of research in native american culture like no 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 but they're hairless people 80 <laughs> percent no of them no. hairless people i searched native american no, facial hair they, yeah with facial, drew looked up Look, with facial th- hair. this guy has the same stuff that cj has That's me. this guy is 2,000 years old and has the same thing that CJ has. Yeah. So, <laughs> well, that's, what, that's what I'm saying. Hold on. I, I got to throw a little thing in here, though, okay. because I love Native American culture. I okay. absolutely love it. I love Native American people. Yeah. I actually hosted, well, I was part of a, a committee that hosted a powwow in Clearfield, PA, mm-hmm. which is powwow's like a gathering yeah. uh, to like celebrate Native American culture and stuff like that. And like, I, I, I'm just saying that like, we ain't knocking on your black of facial oh, hair no, dude, but I this is think... this is new to me this is really? new to me. like this is <laughs> really i did i've never heard that before but now you're like googling this and i'm dude, like i never dude, paid grandpa, attention like like I... my grandpa who's married right now to my grandmother is straight up he looks just like that and he will tell you himself their people do not grow hair it is not dude you're <laughs> I... not ashamed like no native is gonna be upset about this they're gonna be like yeah I just, you know, I'm, they're going to be like, yeah, I'm with that kid. I want to grow a beard, too. I'm beyond amazed because I <laughs> never paid close attention. Never yeah, paid close yeah, attention. We, they, we're just hairless people. You know why? That dude got a beard. That dude has a whole but, beard. But look, he's lighter than the rest. <laughs> that, that, is a, that is also a computer-generated thing about somebody from way back when. <laughs> <laughs> but also, if you look... What's Oops, wrong type of Indian. <laughs> well, what's... <laughs> wrong type yeah. of Indian. Yeah. What's funny, I love his mutton chops, though. Oh, yeah. But what's funny is... The, the thing is, a lot of natives are related to, like, Polynesians and stuff down in our ancestry. So okay. a lot of them don't have hair because they're islanders. You didn't oh, eat much hair. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's where that's kind of where it came from. Yeah. Oh. So, like, they're islanders, kind of like Hawaii. Hawaii. Interesting. Yeah. Oh, 
Dude, I would have been so royal in, in Hawaii. Yeah, you'd be King Kamehameha himself. <laughs> they would have named be kings for years. They would have named a Dragon Ball Z move after you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the, the Drew Wave. <laughs> <laughs> the Lantanizer Maya. <laughs> so, so how much of a nerd are you? Very, well, okay. So like uh, anime. Okay. I'm like Avatar, Dragon Ball Z, about the limits of my okay. nerdiness. Whoa, 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 whoa. You say Dragon Ball Z, which yeah. makes me think you used to watch Cartoon Network then. Yeah. Right? So, uh, did you watch Adult Swim or did you see him on Toonami? Um, actually, I don't remember because okay. the thing is, and this is like throwing back to the OG. Yeah. We used to rush home from, well, I used to rush home from elementary school. Yeah. To be able to catch it with my brother on TV, the new episode of Dragon Ball Z being so released, kind of yeah. like, kind of so like whenever watching... Avatar first got released, right. and they were like releasing them like weekly. Yes. That was me with Dragon Ball Z you like way watching... back when, the OG. Right, you were watching Toonami. So okay. the reason I asked is because before Toonami was created, which was literally made to show kids our age animes. That's okay. that's why they made it. That's why, like, uh, it actually started with Sailor Moon and stuff, and then Dragon Ball Z came later on. Anyways, the reason I asked was because if you watched Adult Swim, they had some cooler animes on at the same time right before Dragon Ball Z, like Yu Yu Hakusho, Trigun, yeah, I don't Cowboy know any, Bebop. I don't know any of those. Cowboy no. Bebop. But now that I know you watch Toonami, I know you, I, they kind of answered my question. Okay. Yeah, so, like, I got that, and then, like... I played a ton of. Oh, sorry if that was loud. Uh, I played a ton of ton of video games back in the day. So uh, Counter Strike, Source, RuneScape, World of Warcraft, uh, Starcraft. Um, that's true. That's true. Okay. I mean, like uh, at one point, I was a ringer in Counter Strike Source for professional teams. I wasn't. I wasn't pro. Ooh, I like that. <laughs> I wasn't pro, but I I would pick up uh, tournament games as a ringer for pro tournaments and okay. stuff like that for like their qualifying Dude. rounds if okay. someone couldn't connect in. Yeah, I I was real real big into video games, heavy. Drew and I used to run around on Halo at some point. Drew got to that point. Now I was just a tag along. I got good enough to play along, but I I, I was just a tag along. Like, but I I realized running with them. I switched everything. Like, ho however the game started to tell you how to play, fucking bullshit. Like, yeah. I switched to Bumper Jumper. I started playing the maps different. Like, this dude ran and was like, dude, this this is the only path you should take on this map. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I was yeah. like, oh, okay. <laughs> you know, and it worked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so, so you're a nice mix of, like, you like sports and things like that. You're yeah. fairly informed about that. So you're a nice mix of things. That's, that's nice. I'm an amoeba. Yeah. yeah. You know, I just morphed to my environment. I mean, it's, it's actually like... You remind it, me a lot of me. Because, like, I used to play football and do a bunch of sports and whatever. Then I turned and started hanging out with Drew and got into bands and then did nerdy shit. And then... Just exactly. Oh, so I drug you down. No, I'm not saying you drug me down. You showed me a different part of life, which was great. I, like, whatever... I was actually talking to Drew a little bit before we started this, but, like, I literally love all cultures and people like I, yeah. I love learning about that stuff like there's there's stuff like for me personally like if i don't know about it then i'm not going to say i don't like it i actually want to learn about it before i even be like that ah, that's not for me but it, i'm not saying that it's not for everyone i just right. it's not for me but i want to learn about that so like video games played lots of video games don't judge anyone i've done dnd &D too fucking freaking D &D love dnd &D. fucking love yeah <laughs> that's i right. like dnd &D, but these guys love it like i like to do every now and then yeah. Because I like to come in, play a fun little stupid character, get out of it. These guys like to do, you know, let's play like a whole year, do a whole year campaign or however long. If they you're do. with I'm the like, right group, no, see to me that's too much attention, and it's my ADHD, dude. It's, that's why I do so many things. But I cannot give that much hyper focus to one. Like I can't give that much commitment to one thing besides like bowling. ADHD. Listen, I have ADHD as yeah. well. We're one in the same. We're one in the there same. There was a lot of love there that I was giving you. That's why I had to, like, just touch you for a second. Because, like, as soon as you said ADHD, I, I was like, I know, I know right. how you feel. It's just like, oh. And people who don't have ADHD, I'm sorry. You, you're you never going to understand it. You might think we're completely normal. We are not normal people. No. And literally, like, he said ADHD. I was like, I know exactly what like, like I get when it. you get fixed on something, you get really fixed. It's a hyper-fucking-focus on it. But when you have ADHD, you don't pick if it 
stays a focus or if you just lose interest and never pick it up again. So you can get pretty decent at something and then say, fuck it. And then people go, well, where did you learn that skill? Oh, over a weekend when I got super hyper focused. And you know, <laughs> yeah. so, if, so, if you want to be on that same scale as a person with not ADHD, take Ritalin. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> and it will give you a frame of their mind. A little bit. Oh, yeah, it will put you in her socks a little Good bit. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> I looked right at you whenever they said that. You don't want it. You don't want it. No. <laughs> you don't want it. You may think it's fun. It's not fun. <laughs> no. <laughs> we have all the energy. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. It's great. For shit. That, un- <laughs> unless you have, unless you have like three things to do, then you panic about those three things almost so much. You focus on those three things so much, right. you do nothing all day. That, that's yeah. the fourth thing. You, you do make nothing. a fourth thing, and that fourth thing is panicking about the other three. Yes. Yeah. 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 And or then you, you won't panic- do anything all day, and you're like, damn, I knew I knew, I knew, I had to do this all day. Or the dark hole of you panic so much that you literally just don't even want to do that one task, and you're literally just like sitting there like, I know I need to do that. But I can't. But I can't, and I don't yeah, know like, why. Like I'm you afraid. literally just can't, and no. you're not even afraid. It's not even afraid. It's just you can't. You just can't. Maybe I have ADHD because I'll make a list about all the things that I need to do, and wait, then wait, I'll you fo- made a list. You don't have mm-hmm. ADHD. And, and then I'll focus. <laughs> <what? But laughs> dude, you ain't lying. It's a wake up, and you're like, but, oh, I'm doing this. <laughs> but then I focus on the list, and I'm like, oh yeah, I need to do this for the podcast, and this for the podcast. And by the time I get down to the bottom of the list, like, oh yeah, I need milk and groceries and yeah. things like that. Yeah, but like we don't we don't even know how to make lists. No, no. Oh, okay. No, and I wouldn't fo- I wouldn't make a list. You know why? Because it stressed me trying to follow the list. Yeah. Because now you're giving too much structure to my day, and I gotta. You don't understand. I see a red bag. Sometimes I gotta spend ten minutes analyzing this red bag, reading things about it because it just caught my interest. A and red I, bag? Yeah, whatever it is, it doesn't matter, dude. It's like a squirrel. Yeah. I don't know what it is. Seriously. It's just it's just random things catch your attention, and you cannot let it go. Well, and random things will also generate previous things that you yes. forgot to do because we're so paranoid about the things that we forget that, like, six months from now, I might see something. Like, I might see a can and go, oh, I forgot to do that six months ago. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and be like, your... and then, you know, like, that gives you the anxiety, too. It's like, oh, I really should have, like, right, done that. done that. And what's funny is on your way to washing that can... You might walk past the trash and go, well, the trash needs out. Let me put this can. Go put the trash out. Then as you're putting the trash out, you look at your car and you go, you know what? That needs washed. So you wash your car. And then as you're washing your car, you go, might as well do the inside. You do the inside. Then you go, the garage needs clean. So then you clean the garage. Then halfway through cleaning the garage, you go, oh, fuck that can. Yeah. Then you go okay. back and then you put the can in the sink. Then you go, well, I got to finish the garage. So then okay. you go back out to the garage. Now that doesn't sound too far off for me. That goes through my head, but I make a conscious decision to go, I should probably put the we can can't. in there. First. We don't have that conscious decision. Okay. But here's the yeah. fun part: we do have superpowers with ADHD because whatever, <laughs> because we have our productive days and our unproductive days. Now both days are productive. What we consider as unproductive, what I would call unproductive, is still productive because we honestly end up doing more than what we even realize we're probably. doing. Yeah. But productive days, like. Tasks that should take normal people twenty minutes to do, we will do in five minutes. That's why, like, like, that's our superpower. Like, we right. we will solve things so freaking fast, it's ridiculous. It's just hitting it on the right day and yeah, just like it's, it's consistently having that energy. Yeah, gotcha. It that's a random thing. So oh, like, yeah, what what that. you gotta <laughs> what you gotta do when you have ADHD is understand what day you're in and how to better put yourself in a position to win. And that's knowing your demons. That's where yeah. people say, hey, you got to know your demons. Well, ADHD can be a demon or it can be a godsend. It's, yeah. it's, it's how do you understand it and how do you understand yourself? Yeah. yeah. Most people, you know, to all the ADHD folks out there, there very few people understand ADHD in general. Like it just they they don't. And because like I think we're I'm, normal, we're very normal. Yeah. But at the same time, we're like not. Did, like we're we're just disa- like like uh, one of the worst uh, things you can say to someone with ADHD is like you disappointed me or I'm yeah. disappointed in you because you forgot to do something. Listen, I'm gonna forget to do something five minutes from now that I said I was gonna do the entire time. Drew's been with it me. It is what it is. Well, you know you know how it is because Drew's been with me when we needed to leave, and I'm like, oh, oh shit, oh. <laughs> Oh, shit. And then it takes 20 minutes to leave. So it seems like we don't know anything about it because the people that have ADHD forget about how they're supposed to be doing it. Yes. And the people that don't have ADHD that are watching them do it don't understand it. No, so they think you're being lazy or, like, just being a dick. 
Like, like literally, why I don't talk. Yeah, you're always a dick. But <laughs> kind of. So but, 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 but the reason, like, I don't talk to a lot of people that I don't interact with daily. Let's say, like, if 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 I li- if I didn't live with people or like you, if we didn't have a podcast to do weekly, you always had to get a hold of me. And the reason for that is, if I don't see a picture of you, you kind of fade away. Like, and not to be rude. Aww. Not to be rude, but it's like my mind doesn't remember. I'm on to whatever's going on. And I'll you never just forget about forget. you, Drew. Dude, I know what I'm Until you see a picture, then you go, oh, shit, I haven't talked to this guy for four years. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> then you're like, fuck. Dude, I what know exactly on? what I'm getting you for your birthday. I'm going to get you a framed picture of me. I'm going to put it up in Dude, your room. Dude, I would love that. And it's going to be right by your door. You I walk think, out yep. the door and go... Huh. I think you know. True. I think or you know. I would love that dude. in his car because every time, whenever ADHD people are in their car, I, and I've learned people with ADHD the love right. driving. They love yes, driving. I do. And whenever they're in the car, they're sitting. They're, 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 they're just thinking. Peace. They're yeah. thinking. It's peaceful. It's yeah. like a you're like locked. second body experience. Like yeah, you're you, driving the car, but you're actually not. You're like, locked you're into. Lo- you're thinking about everything. Well, and you're locked into a space where no one can interrupt you, and it's yours. Like, literally, I can press a lock button, and I don't give a fuck who it is. No one else who is in the car with me cannot enter unless I let them enter. And that <laughs> lets me get into a, a frame of mind to let my mind wander. So, picture for in his car, and he will never forget you. Oh. Ever. Like a, like a fighter pilot. Like, one that has that's me actually, pregnant right dude, that's actually <laughs> right why I have a cage. bunch of pictures of my nieces and nephews. Oh, it's because then when I open it, I see them, and I go, oh, man, it's been whatever since I've saw them. I should do that. You know? Oh, dude, it's great. Being an uncle, if you're an uncle, I'm an uncle. Dude, you are missing the best fucking thing in the world. I forget about you, my nieces and nephews all the time. I know it happens. It will. <laughs> but you need to go. I love them. I just but you, I'm sorry. you will forget about it. Because they're not they're not your children. But That's a perfect example, but dude, it's like, oh yeah. <laughs> but dude, I, they're great because you can go there, spoil the fuck out of them. They think you're the cool guy. You're like the uncle's a cool dude, right? So oh, you yeah. walk in there, I mean Buy him some cool shit. You don't have a kid, so save up a little bit. Get him a guitar or something that will annoy their fucking parents. BB guns. BB guns, <laughs> yes. <laughs> annoy their fucking parents. You're the cool guy. Dude, it's sweet. Yeah. It's a sweet thing. If you're an uncle <laughs> or, or an auntie, you know, go fucking enjoy it. It's an amazing thing. Okay, so I, I'm curious, though. This is, yeah. you know, we, we kind of, I'm, I'm digressing here because we really went off on a oh, tangent Oh, yeah, yeah, there. ADHD. But, like, <laughs> I want to get back to nerding out. I want to get yeah. back to nerding out because yeah. the thing is, like, you asked me what, like, I was nerd level-wise, yeah. but I want to know what you guys are nerd, le- like, level-wise. Like, what? how far do you go? Uh, well, see, I love animes, uh, but really see, only take early you and animes. split it in half. Yeah. But then crank us up. So where you might be half and half, we are one of the same yin and yang. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So he likes a whole bunch of stuff that I don't like and vice versa, but we touch a little bit into it for each other. Right. Okay. And, and, and not just that, but like Drew, Drew probably wouldn't be the first person to pick uh, a sport to do, but he's also very athletic. Okay. I mean, he used to do soccer and watching him be the fucking goal. He would score from one goal to the other. He'd okay. just kick it as a goalie so, and score. Yeah. Dude, awesome. It was awesome to watch. Yeah. So he's not, it's not like he's not athletic. So like when we started bonding and he started showing me more nerd shit, I started getting a more athletic shit. Like, Hey bro, you, you're better than what you think. Let's go do these things. Exactly. Right. Because I've seen it, you know, I've been yeah. there. I competed with my eyes and I can see you. Let's go. Yeah. So that's kind of how, how we morphed and then grew. And then really, uh, one of the best things we ever did was the jam shack. I mu- mu- <laughs> music wise. I don't know if we we're ever the best, but well, it, it made us grow. We well, started playing live. It, it was fun. It was something new that we both haven't done. Well, okay. What is the so what best you guys things play? we what ever did play? was got arrested. Yeah, oh, yeah, well, that's true. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. What? Well, what did we you get to that what in a second? Think, what did you? What did you what play? What do you think we play? Real quick, if you had to guess. Oh, this be fun. Drew, I'd guess you're a bassist. Okay. Wow. Okay. Wow, okay. And you're chill, you like like you know, like I can just see you like just jamming out, like. Okay. And what about him? You're either a guitarist or vocals, but I I don't know. Vocals could be hard because vocals could be anyone. Yeah. You never really know. You, you almost. Am I flip flopping? <laughs> yeah. oh, no, no, I can see him as a bassist too. Oh, yeah. I can. I can oh, see yeah, that. Dude. Like, uh, well, yeah, with that hat on too, like you know, just. Oh no jamming. no it was it wasn't that see. You're looking at the wrong bits. I like ska. I like street, you know, street like manifesto. I like, 
I like uh, red hot chili peppers with flea. Ooh, so my the hardest baselines, baselines there my were baselines red are, hot chili peppers. When you have ADHD, I'm telling you the bass is the best thing because there's percussion and a string. So you can beat huh. the shit out of it while also making notes. Okay. So you're making your brain work double, almost double. Because now I got to remember what chord he's in, but I got to fit to the drums and play with the rhythm of the drums. Okay. And then add ghost notes. So it's. The so you were the vocals, huh? Dude, I went down a downward spiral. I was really, really good at singing. Yes. Uh, especially growing up in high school and things like that. How did you I make actually, your money? In I high actually school? made a living from square dance yeah. calling. You know the guy that says swing your partner around? No around? shit. No, one hundred percent. I used to go around with have him you, in high school and do square dances with I don't the old know ladies. The guys, and help him out. I don't know what the guy's name is, but have you seen that dude that's like real smooth with his feet? That's like all over the internet mm-hmm. now from like square dancing. Like he has, he has the mullet. Oh, I used to do that exact same <laughs> thing, dude. But, <laughs> no, nope. I was, I was oh. very dance oriented yes. too. I, I love it. He was athletic. That's but, awesome. But then I grew self conscious about being up there and not having anything else with me and only singing in front of a microphone. So I wanted to get a guitar to cover my stomach and things like that. So I started ah. playing guitar. And then we needed a drum set because we started a band. And so I started doing drums. I never once touched the bass. Huh. <laughs> <That's always laughs> never. And, and never. because of my ADHD, I got really fucking good at the bass. Like even yeah. now, I'm still pretty decent at the bass. But it's uh, it's a hyper focus, and it's a hyper focus that's never went away. Huh. I still love it to this day. And I, dude, I'm telling you, as a person with ADHD, get an instrument because it makes you go through your emotions more than you ever thought because you don't have to think about your you're just playing then all of a sudden you're playing in a sad tone and you know you're just Well, this isn't going to be surprising to you. I never played in a band, but in high school I was heavy in the chorus and singing like yeah. honors districts, regional states, like the yeah. whole shebang. Even- I was in 14 different choirs my senior year like between barbershop quartet and like madrigals okay. the musical like Jeez. i was heavy into singing now i've been singing like now, 10 plus listen, years man, but your voice is an instrument oh it yeah. is an instrument and you can learn how to mess with it yeah so if you have to dude i, I would suggest to you you came out and you joined bowling you see how fun that is Go join a singing thing. Well, if that's what you really like to do, why don't we make a new we band? We messed with it in way I mean, different ways. Dude, <laughs> a band takes a lot of energy, and we've had guitarists quit on us. Like literally, show up to places, guitarists didn't show up. Yeah, it, yeah. We, we've had we've had guitarists say that they will be coming to the show and practice with us every then day not. up until the show, and then just not return our phone calls the day of the show. I'm not surprised. And then I've had to <laughs> distort my bass and try the. I had to try to figure out. Okay, right now, how do I do something that's gonna fill this void yeah because i can't play the true bass line because it needs a little bit of the rhythm yeah so how the fuck do I... <laughs> <laughs> yeah i get it but no uh i i like D and i'm a dm and things like that and cj plays every once in a while just because okay. it's something fun to do uh to make sure with i i like you know cards uh and certain things like that. i do I have doing... a whole bunch of magic gathering Oh my god, we just became best friends! I'm doing a pre release <laughs> on like next weekend. So <laughs> But actually tell him how you do your pre releases because it's very interesting. Me and him talked about magic cards. He doesn't keep any you anymore. Bastard. No, no, no. no, no. Okay. I told him to bring it up you on the episode bastard. for you. So <laughs> so in it's like high school on me. Like in high school and stuff, and like I was also in Boy Scouts, and like so was I. Okay, so like <laughs> I worked, yeah, yeah, I worked at a uh, Camp Coco in Slippery Rock. I know um, it is. Yep. Yeah, so I worked at Camp Coco, and like we we made like eighty cents to the hour right. if you broke it out over like how much responsibility we had because we didn't technically stop working because like we were living there, so like yeah, we made like eight hours wages a day but we were actually working 16 plus hours it was only while we were sleeping but even sometimes right. they would wake us up for stuff so right. like um you know like we made like nothing so like you know a couple grand in a summer seemed like a lot to a high schooler but it yeah. really was it not, was not no isn't, Ever- isn't that funny the older you get you realize how much you were fucked when you're young yeah <laughs> Exactly. So, like, every weekend, though, like, me and my buddy, Ryan, we would go down and just buy magic cards. Yeah. And, like... That's where I started playing was at scout camp. Yeah. We would spend our entire summer's pay on magic cards. Like, I had at one point, like, totes underneath my bed of magic cards. Like, Mm -hmm. it was crazy how many I had. But... This is the sad news because actually what happened was there was a fire at my house. No! Yes. Like, right after high school, like, uh, a gaming laptop that I had, like, caught on fire. It didn't burn my house down, but it 
burned everything in my room. Because it like it was in my room? room. It started in my what room. What did you leave on? No, no, it was the laptop. The laptop was plugged in, and you know the uh, you know those boxes, charging brick, the, the charging, charging brick breaker? that malfunctioned. Yep. Did they pay and, you guys in? Oh yeah, like uh, oh, let's not worry about that. Okay, good. That's there awesome. Was, there was a lot That's of like awesome. What battery companies well, so we can tell people not this, to buy them? It's Energizer. This is it? why I don't buy Magic cards anymore though, because like I had a lot of cards destroyed. Yeah. But um. It was actually a positive thing that happened to me because I actually had a bunch of cards survive the fire because uh, I'm not the cleanest person in the world. Okay. So that happens what's that funny is... They is in the right place? No, no. So I had all these boxes, those uh, release boxes, like they look like a, like a box car. Mm-hmm. I had a ton of them stacked up on top of each other. Well, yeah. they had fallen down like months before this fire. And it was in the po- the corner of the room. I throw on my dirty clothes because like hampers yeah. are for wimps. Yeah, dude, so dude, like that's an ADHD. Thing. Yeah, I know it's an ADHD. It's yeah. also a guy thing. Guys yeah. throw clothes on the floor. That's what right, happens. Right, right. So like it was the pot. It was the corner that I throw all my clothes in. So there was actually like a good foot to two feet of clothes on top of these magic cards, and those were actually like the best the magic savior. cards that I had. Like yeah. like my decks, my already completed decks, and like all of like my rares and stuff. Well, because of the fire. They deem my room as totaled or something like okay. that. So I had to claim what was in there, even if it was okay. Because I thought it was wrong, honestly. Like, I said to the insurance person that was at my house, I was like, I can't, like, these cards are fine. I shouldn't claim them. They were like, no, you actually have to claim them. Because, like, the reason why is, like, three months down the road, if they're bad, like, or if, like, you pick them up and, like, you smell them and, like, oh, there's a little yeah. bit of char on them, well, they're not worth as much. So, like... In that fire sense, they're like, no, actually, like, whatever's in that room, it gets claimed, no matter right. what. It's right. just, yeah, okay. they don't want you coming back three months later saying, hey, they replaced oh, yeah, it. It's, they a would blank, just... it's a blanket statement for them. It's, a blanket... it's easier for them to do it that exactly. way. So, they're not worried about the money. They're worried about the, the process. Possessions, yeah. Yeah, so they had me claim all of these cards. And they wanted to give me, like, 50 cents on the dollar for, like, uncommons and a dollar for rares. <laughs> and I'm, like, sitting there on, like, 20, 30, 40, 50 dollar cards. So, like, I literally spent, like a week straight like itemizing them and like like literally i spent yeah. hours a day just telling them like hey these cards are worth a ton well they ended up paying out that entire thing but after that happened because it was after high school i ended up using all that money in order to start a living so instead yeah. of like buying magic cards i actually bought like furniture for my apartment yeah so like and I said to myself, I'm not going to dump money into Magic anymore. I love the game. I love playing Magic. But, like, that was a traumatizing experience. Yeah. But, like, I don't want to go through. Now that it's all much, gone, I don't want to build back. I don't want to build back. I would spent years of my life that I don't regret. Right. But I was also given an out that I appreciate a lot because of that. Yeah. Well, you you got to cash in on that mentality that everybody has when they pull a card. They're like, "Oh my god, that's a twenty dollar card!" And then you go to sell it like fifteen years later, and they're like, "Yeah, I'll give you two or three bucks for it." Like most people, when most Magic players, when they look at your binder or whatever, they'll go, "Oh my god, you got like ten thousand dollars worth of cards in here." Yeah, they're calculating in their head the money. And, yeah, that's, that's reali- what they're impressed about. Realistically, you get you know two hundred bucks when you sell your binder off. At yeah. Once. yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Well, they got to make profit and hold on to it. Right. If this thing's going to take up X amount of space on my shelf and also be there for two years, I got to calculate that as a businessman because right. I could put other shit in there to sell. Yeah. So, it, it, you know, it makes sense for both parties. And also the, the time I spent building these decks and like trading and stuff like that, I was getting into a professional career that I was like, I don't have the time to time commit like I did energy. in high school yeah. and energy that I did in high school. But, but, so I was like, you... I can't go back into this this hole. It's not like a hole in a bad way because I respect magic players because like they're so bright. The yeah. strategy is way more than any other well, card it's game. Ch- it's chess with a hundred more fucking rules. Right? Exactly. So yeah. like the they're so smart. I just don't, I wish I had the time to commit. I just don't. So that's why, like, I'm doing these pre-releases now that, like, so my buddy, like, he invited me to this pre-release. He did it a couple weeks ago, and that was the first time I played Magic in, like, years. And I was like, yeah, I'd love to come down. Like, I almost had to reteach myself, but... um, Oh, you probably missed a whole lot of stuff, too. I did. <laughs> there was so much. I was like, what does this mean? But um, 
it was cool, but I did really well because once if you've already been in that magic mindset, you know how to build a, a nice deck and stuff right. like that. Like right. you, you can you can still piece things together. You know how many cards you need for your mana, all this other stuff. I don't want to bore right. I don't want to bore the, listeners, the but yeah, right. the non players because there's so much to that strategy. But, but like just like the, anything else, once you've done it once or twice, you kind of can prepare better. Once you've done it a hundred times, then you might be getting yeah. better. <laughs> it's a big learning curve. But um, so like with the uh, he invited me out. It was awesome. But he said to me, "Hey." I will pay for you to be in this release tournament, but I keep your cards. Yeah. And I was like, 100%. Been there. No, no questions asked. Like, keep the cards. You can have. What's funny is I cracked, like. He's a... sucking your luck. Well, I have I, him crack he, packs he, because he's luckier than I am. Oh, I, I cracked so many mythic rares on this last one, like a month or so ago. That's true. I don't play. And there will be times I'll buy a pack like you because Drew will convince me, hey, this is a really good whatever, buy buy another. Okay, so I'll buy a starter pack, and Drew will just get pissed when I open cards. <laughs> <laughs> because he knows, one, I'm not going to play with them because I really – I only play with my angels. Yeah. That's all I play with. Drew knows that. Oh, I only boring. play with the angel cards. No, <laughs> I love boring. my angels. No, fuck that's you. I love my, fuck you. I love he, my angels. He had a box well, underneath his bed. He has a yeah. box underneath his bed like five or six years ago. <laughs> I went through it. I was like, oh, that's an $80 card. That's a $200 card. That's a $20 card. That's a $10 card. And I just piled them all up. And he was like, yeah, I'll put them right back in the box. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, yeah. So on the, the, the main topic you wanted to bring up, that's true. Right. Oh, wait, wait, the topic, you have are a we story. Getting, How wait, long wait, wait, did we... Drew, we've been going second. for, what, 45 minutes? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, give, my Lord. Give me a second. Give oh, me a second. fun. Give me a second, boys. Okay, so as your host, first I want to say, if you're going to have a guest, try to find a guest like him. <laughs> find uh, a guest that doesn't have ADHD. <laughs> no, 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 no. I drinks, like Eddie. Drinks like a fish. No, I like that. But he brought his own story today. Now, usually we're asking you guys right. what story you would like and, and maybe... You know, what you want to see out of us. And I just want to show you how we reward people that might have something to say. I mean, shit, dude. If you live close enough and you tell us, hey, we want to talk about this, we'll probably just put you on the podcast and talk about that fucking shit. So, I mean, take Trey as an example. Don't don't be silent. I, I can't read minds. Fucking be vocal. If you don't like something, if you do like something, let us know. Uh, maybe we'll change it, maybe not, but... I'm not going to belittle you because of your voice. So, Trey, go ahead. Tell people what you wanted to bring on. Okay. So, uh, shout out to their Britain followers, UK followers, because, uh, you know, we were talking at bowling and they were saying that they have a bunch of followers in, you know, the United Kingdom, Britain. Um, yeah, actually, so, it's more than 50%. So, from what I see, you'll know, to, you'll know this once you start your own. Like, YouTube and everything keeps a track of all the analytics everything now it doesn't tell you quite who listened to you but it will keep track of where they're from what age okay. bracket and all that and over uh the majority is from uk for for our listeners and i don't know okay. why but i appreciate i mean any listener <laughs> i appreciate and yeah that's that seems to be hey, the people keep doing it keep doing yeah, things. they just seem to be the people that love our humor so so based off of like my idea of like so now what do you want to talk about podcasts once yeah. we get that started like i googled like britain news okay and i ran across something that's actually like all over the place it's not even britain like there's articles on all of your major news media about uh, a guy that died from using a telescopic urinal um whoa whoa whoa, whoa. It, telescope here I'll, I'll read a little bit about it <laughs> what, what, hold on okay, before you okay. read a little bit about it okay okay as soon as i read i went what is a telescopic urinal number one yes. number two it is very sad that this guy died and well, then it is always sad that someone died but i only can feel so bad depending on how they died and that's right where it gets interesting because of how these things work. And I, and I, and I can't wait to talk because more I, like, about you, this. You know what I mean? If someone sat there with a loaded gun to their head, yeah. teasing the trigger, I only can feel so bad for when the yeah. gun gets off. You know? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, the, this is a poor soul that was likely heavily intoxicated. Oh, God. Um, that's why, yeah. That's, that's why, listen, alcohol is a drug. Use it responsibly. <laughs> But don't look at it as anything different than fucking uh, 
pot or hair or, like it's all a drug man yeah so remember not, it's yeah, all yeah, a drug let, let me give a little blurb a worker was crushed to death by a retractable urinal on friday the urinals have been installed all whoa, across whoa, whoa, oh, entertainment <laughs> what entertainment do you mean by industry. retractable we'll get into it yeah yeah we'll get there okay. and are stored below during the day during the day at night they are raised above the ground giving people a place to use the restroom so that they do not urinate on the street okay so so, so first up it's a worker it's a worker so actually he might have been wait. like maintenancing it right, right, so right. i i'm sorry in advance for my thought that he might have been extremely intoxicated this is someone trying to work on it okay okay it wait, wait, wait Drew, yeah. Drew, Drew, before you start did you say these things pop up during the day no, they don't pop at up night. during the day. They oh, are retracted night. when drunk people. So, they so come you're up. telling me these things are like fucking Batman toilets? Yes. At night, these things get a fucking little <laughs> signal in the sky. Yes. They're like zzz. the fucking. You tell me. You're telling me the sidewalk comes apart. This motherfucker. Zzz. No, no. Think no, of it like a pothole. Like no, no. Think like coming parking, out. Think of like the parking spots in the street. Right where like, like a it's baller. a pothole. It's like a pothole, but it's like right it's by the sidewalk. Cover. It's a manhole it cover that up. lifts up out of the side of like the actual street itself. Is there walls? There's like a, it's like a circle. So like, like there's the urinal in the middle of it, and it's like yeah, a half circle. So like, if you get right ur- up it in, no one's four gonna... urinals all together. There's four of them. Four on of them. Those. I think oh four. man, you, wow. you Britons are drinkers. Three, 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 wow, three urinals see. all oh, together. Dude, there's a picture. Okay, so if I had to say, it looks like a round table. Oh, that is on a sidewalk. <laughs> I saw one that was on a so, street. So, so the way they're explaining it is exactly right. It's a manhole cover that pops up, and then there's a hole kind of punched in the middle of the where where the whole diameter would be. There's a hole punched in it with a toilet. So if you do walk in it, you're pretty pretty well uh, covered, unless some dude just decides to walk up to the open spot and stare at you. There's, or there's literally three urinals that are attached to each what? other that just come up. Out of the ground oh, so for, the for drunk people okay. to piss in. So, yeah, and, it, and that's what's funny is that, so like... I'm sorry. It's a circle, so it's a cylinder. And inside the cylinder, there's basically... Look at a revolver. It, and, it looks but like the only thing it can, gone. It, it, it looks like, a, it looks yeah. like a revolver. But you only can put three bolts in the chamber. And those, and on the outside is the urinals. Those are the three bolts. The, the bolts are your penises. Well, no, it's the urinals. <laughs> <laughs> So, so I have I have two main questions here. First one is it states that it's literally only urinals. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And the second one ties. The you second can, question you ties. You urinal if you flush it enough. Who's the asshole that br- that dude probably had to do the maintenance because somebody took a shit in that urinal? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, urinal? that was one of my thoughts. <laughs> but but what's what's crazy about this is the fact that like it, it's brilliant. I I love. Whenever I read this, I started, like, researching more and yeah. reading online that, like, they don't want their city to smell like piss because all the drunks at night are pissing on the yeah. side of buildings that, like, their their city smells like ever, piss. Did, like, New York City needs to do this. Did you ever read about the royalty? <laughs> did you ever read about ancient royalty? Have I never read? Like, in, like, ancient toilets. And what the what like they in would the say, castles? Yeah, they'd shit down the walls of the castles. Yeah, basically. <laughs> so, so in the castle, there may be one bathroom, and the way they would do it is, you know, one of those round parts on the outside would be completely hollow, go up to just a toilet with an empty <laughs> space, and go all the way down. It's crazy. But most of the time during a party, that wouldn't happen because most people wouldn't be allowed to use the restroom. It so gives a new shit. meaning to storming the castle now. Yes, it does. <laughs> So a lot of people back then would actually like shit in the stairways and stuff because there's nowhere to shit. Oh. So that's when they really looked around and went, maybe we should do something. Because like, dude, it took them a whole fucking plague till they realized, let's not throw shit in a river. In the river we drink out of. Huh. Until then, we throw the shit in the river we drink out of. Yeah. Yeah. Not thinking there was a problem. Yeah. Hmm. No, no, okay. Well, we still do that, but still. Yeah, well. We do it in a we different way. We fluoride our water now. <laughs> <laughs> we cover it with other chemicals. It's fine. Do you, do you guys ever have to take those little fluoride tablets? Oh, always in high school? Yeah. Always. Oh, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. yeah. I was, they knew I was from the country and I had well water. Yeah. <laughs> they knew it. I don't know how they knew it, but they knew that I had well water and they're like, here's a pill to take. So, well water. So, so, like, these pop that. up out of the ground and it gives people a place to pee at night. That's brilliant. That's it's amazing. Drew, how many times have I peed? Oh, countless. In, in uh, a place I shouldn't have at night because they're drinking. I, <laughs> You hit a house like 
50 times in one night. <laughs> he, he pissed on their TV, their TV set, their curtains, their wall. Their... I want one of these at my house. I would love for it to be like 11 o'clock at night and be like, guys, watch this. Beep, beep. And then all of a sudden, this urinal comes out right outside next to my patio that like all of my drunk friends are like, no way. You have a telescopic urinal? Dude, what... I need an American company right now to install a telescopic urinal at my house, so that way at night I could just literally raise it and just be hidden, not hidden from the neighbors, but it's just like, oh, at least he's being responsible about it instead of just pissing pee- outside, pee- yeah. peeing in his backyard. Yeah, yeah, we live in the country too much. <laughs> no, dude, I want to have one of these in like my office, so I'm sitting playing a game or whatever, and I'm just like, oh, I don't have to walk the extra two feet to the bathroom. <laughs> or yeah, in your fucking living room where you could just. Oh man, that's crazy. I want to actually know more about these though. Ever I wish we got to it before the actual incident because now all you see is about the incident. I seriously thought this guy died while he was using it hammered. Like I didn't like really read into the story much. Yeah. I got to telescopic urinal and that's all I needed to read. But I thought like this was some drunkard at like two o'clock in the morning that like stumbled up to one of these and just got like all of a sudden decided to retract well could you imagine being when, peeing hammered and all of a sudden it starts to lower well, on you well, what is it, it, what it is says it? that it comes out at a certain time and goes back down at a certain time wouldn't there have to be some kind of sensors on it for it not to come down and drop yes. at a certain you time would I, hope I would so, assume. but maybe there's not maybe that's why this guy died there's got to be a lot of reform that's well i would assume i would assume that in in america there would be because we control so much area that we have a federal government that purposely puts so much restrictions on shit you have to, yeah. right? Where in Britain, they're about as big as, what, a state of ours? You know? A couple states. A couple states. No, Texas, they bigger than but Texas? But they're huge. I mean, Are they, they bigger I mean, than Texas? I don't know. I, I think it's about the same size. Okay, so twice. they're about one state size of ours. Yeah, but a you can also different. say they're that not, you can not also say that they're thirty-four on. Rhode Islands. Like, who the fuck cares? You're, you you're calling gonna, out one of our biggest what does states. What does size have anything to do with like controls? Right. The control in which you would put on a on an item, because okay, okay, you're gonna affect a lot more people the bigger area you would have to put it on. So, like, let's say I only have a city to watch after. Okay. I can put a lot more restrict, or I can let that city not have as many restrictions because I can watch the people a little bit more closer. Okay. Where if you have the whole fucking country, now you got to be more restrictive in your description of how people need to use it because you can't have the eyes on them. I guess that's true because like you might have some people from Cleveland coming down to Texas, and you can't trust the people of Cleveland to understand. Right. Well, right. Well, well, what I no 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 that's what? not what I mean. But oh, what what are the odds? Uh, okay. <laughs> Regardless, England no, has no 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 no, no. England wait, has wait, a lot wait, of wait 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 because Trey thinks he's being smart here. <laughs> Trey, real no, quick. No, just knocking on your shirt. No 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 no. I know. But my point is, how often is it that people are traveling into the state compared to people being in there, compared to the whole country, and how many people are traveling throughout the whole country? Uh, yeah, I understand. I get it. Okay, I understand so, the concept. So, so it's 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 like literally control. There's more people in the United States over the fifty fucking states because we have one state as big as a whole fucking country. I, I agree with you. Okay. Oh no 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 no! I agree with you. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna say it's a control aspect. It's just no, I, I get it. it. On on a different topic, uh, England actually has a lot of restrictions on certain things. You're not allowed to have certain dyes in the foods, and yeah, and a well, lot of our things FDA like that. sucks. So th- they are very strict on a couple of things. Gun gun control there is pretty mm-hmm. crazy too. Yeah, you know, we're pretty lax with stuff in the that's United because States. because they don't want the inbred fucking leaders being shot, like the but queen. This is not the first country to do telescoping <laughs> urinals. Well. <laughs> public urinals i guess like this uh, uh in france true. in the france <laughs> in france they actually have uh public urinals that are people can use and uh they're eco-friendly or whatever like that they don't come out of the ground uh but yeah this picture that is showing there's literally 200 people on a boat going past this one guy with his dick in a urinal <laughs> dude there is <laughs> I would wave right to him. Why does the United States not have this? I mean, like, whenever we're talking about party towns, like, New Orleans, Nashville, Vegas, like, why is this not considered the norm? Because in my opinion, why fight it? I mean, it's a normal bodily function. Why fight it? People have to piss, and they need to go somewhere. Because we have porta-potties. But we don't. But we don't. 
in in certain places we do. When you Very go to few. a fair, there's a huge porta potty. Fair bed. and concert venues. Okay. That's it. Right. Okay, but but what he's asking is why doesn't the government provide street ones? What you're talking about are private companies yeah. providing their own shitters because they know if they don't, someone's going to shit that, on their that, land. That's exactly the reasoning here. America privatized using the shitter. <laughs> that's that's yeah. probably it. Uh, honestly, that because, you, you know, whenever you go into a gas station, like you have to buy something to use the shitter. Well, I mean, that's yeah. not as common nowadays, now, right. but it used to be a major thing. So, yeah. like, maybe that's why they didn't want to just make it available. It's like, oh, no, you got to go well, in and buy something. I think I think really like the crack epidemic and the stuff scared people in America because they're thinking like stalls. But the way they did it is so open, but it covers the one piss in this trash can. Right, because it's it's not <laughs> weird. It's not weird that you think a guy's peeing. That's not the weird thing that someone's peeing. The weird thing that everyone gets upset about is if they see your penis. Right. I would I would smile and make funny faces while I was standing there, right. just so people knew what I was up to. Think, think about how many <laughs> think about how many sexual offenders this would stop. Because how many people go to pee and they're just by a fucking like kids playground or something at night. And then yeah. they get a registered sex offender. But but here's the yeah. thing. Maybe Hold not on. that many, Hold but on. enough. This is something I thought about with the um, telescopic losses. urinals. Yeah. How do you solve this problem to be fair to both sexes? Because, like, this is catering well, well, to well, well, someone who can just go up and do it yes. versus someone that can go and, like, well, sit that's down. Not true. Okay. They can sit by the urinal. Well, but your main is... offender, they, they've done the study. The reason why they did this is because the main offender is males that are intoxicated that are just peeing anywhere they go. Because yeah, you got like, cats that spray everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> I was just about to say, if you walk to my house, you might, like, get a scent, but it's because I marked everything. Right. Well, dude, you got to figure, it's a lot. It, it, that just comes Did you down. on my floor? <laughs> Uh, I may have it earlier. Comes, I'm trying comes, to mark my territory. This is my first time okay, here. Wait, but Sorry. it comes down to nature. We have a hose. And even when when it comes to kids, the little girls don't go pee outside a bunch because they know they usually have to do other things. And, you know, I and get as a it. kid, it's, you, as a man, we look at the world as a toilet because how easy is it to pull it out? Go do, you know? Like well, I'd that, much rather pee outside, tell you the truth. Well, exactly. And, um... You know, with this telescopic urinal, though, like, one of my thoughts was, like, we should just have holes on the street and just make it normal to, like, have to do normally well, bodily functions. That's what they have in, like, well, India and Dubai. Yeah, like, just, like a, just squad, the just bathroom pee, is just do just whatever. Well, well, just well, I get whatever. that, but that's, that's like, they're I'm also not... a lot dirtier than us. Their Come river on. is brown. No. Their main river is brown. Well, in maybe India? they're trying to solve that by having places for people to go than the river. In a <laughs> hole, a random hole. Dude. One of the things, one of this line, this doesn't fucking make sense to me. One of the lines is, the incident occurred near the Palace Theater, which is currently showing Harry Potter. The theater told Daily Mail that they might have to cancel Friday night's performance due to ongoing police activity. Who the fuck cares? A True. man died from a telescoping toilet, and you're telling me that Harry Potter's playing around the corner and might have to cancel. Who the fuck cares? Uh, to be honest, I don't I care. I kind of don't care about the man that died in the urinal because how dumb are you to die in the urinal? I care. No, no, no. I care about this worker because this guy is maintenancing urinals for the drunkards at night. This how man did, works hard. How did he hard. die? How did he die? And what did he he it, got it crushed by it. It, it, it went crushed, down yeah. while he was like maintaining. How fast him. does it go down? I don't. I don't because know. Because it is like. Zzz. No, I care about this guy. No, 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 no. no. Nah. This ain't slow mo Austin Powers it getting a guy getting crushed. It might be though. No, what if it was? no there's it, no what way. If it was? There's, there's an, no way. There's an ongoing situation and investigation which will determine that if it was by accident or something happened. Also, what if he was a bad mechanic and he fucking cut the hydraulic? I mean, that could happen too. Yeah. If that's what comes out, I feel less bad, but still, someone lost their life, so I care. I, I mean, do I care. care too. But they, this is why they don't do it in the, in the U.S. Have consequences. Each, each one of these is a quarter of a million dollars. That's I'm, is that pounds to do? or U.S. dollars? It I'm curious. Dollars. That's not, but if it's that's pounds, that's, that's, that's even more expensive. That's yeah. I was going to say, your oh, yeah. money is AUD. worth more than ours. Yeah, the so. B money is worth way more but than USD. A AUD is about the same. <laughs> okay. So. Not B money, it's P money. It's the pounds. It's the P money. Yeah, it's the pounds. Just kind of like Those look it, awesome, though. They do look like, awesome. Like, honestly. But now that you brought it up and people are dying because their foot gets stuck or something, I don't know if that would be good for America. We tried to give people free scooters, and oh, they fucked that up. Oh, we need a video. Wait. Oh, man. We need a video here. Come on. 
a video of the dude getting crushed? No, no a video of it going so, up and down. So oh. while, you, while you look this up, I recollect a time that I was down in the south side of Pittsburgh. Yeah. Okay. And I was drunk. I peed on those around, buildings quite And I was bit. peeing on a building, and I just heard someone behind me go, hey, what are you doing? Yeah. And I said, I'm peeing on the wall. Like, why are you watching me? Right. And he was like, hey. And all of a sudden, my buddy came over to me and was like, hey. Uh, what are you doing? And I was like, I'm, I'm peeing. He was like, no, no, why, why are you, why, dude, turn around. And I like <laughs> zipped up, turned around. It was a cop that was yelling at me. <laughs> Damn. Did he let you go? Yeah, he did let me go, but he was not happy with me. And I did end up telling, fine. actually, honestly, the the oh. real stories, I did tell him to fuck off while I was peeing yeah. too. Cause I was like, ah, I'm peeing, fuck right, off. Fuck off dude. And that's when my buddy ran up, but like, uh. You know, if we had these, if we had these, I wouldn't have to worry about I don't that. See why I would know where every telescopic urinal was in Pittsburgh. I don't see why that's an issue. Piss is sterile. Because it smells. It has everything else. It in has it. an It'd odor. Sterile, I mean, but there's I, other things in it. I mean, I get that, but if you're worried about the piss having smells, why don't you worry about what we're consuming? And if you would do that, then our piss wouldn't smell. But we're consuming alcohol. Or water. Yeah. But it's right, not for the, the people. Alcohol, the alcohol is not for the people. Making it smell. Oh. It's to sugar. <laughs> so apparently, it's the sugar and a poison in it. Apparently, yeah. there are ones that um, are for women. They kind of resemble porta potties to where like oh, they're the actual things. That's they awesome. They have a seat. No, they no, have... no, listen, listen to me. If here's the reason why I wouldn't make them for women, and you can yell at me all you want, but if you make them for women, usually you have to put a door. Once you put a door on one of these, yeah, it th- becomes there's, a very. There's some that have doors. But listen, it becomes a very very unsafe thing because now i could lock you in there with me and that makes a bigger difference of you being able to see someone or not and i think it becomes a very dangerous thing i agree with you except for the fact that like if someone's using one of these well no see i can't even i can push you right in there yeah yeah yeah, the thing is that like lock the door right behind me so my i think it's safer not to use the door and unfortunately as a woman i'm sorry but i'm trying to look out for your safety no, I do not. Even as a man, I think if you're squatting down and taking a shit, you can't defend yourself. That's why it's you want a secure place to poop. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Like, you ever been pooping and give yourself the fucking dead legs? You know, the, the numb ass, and then your legs are dead, and you're like, <laughs> dude, if someone came in right now, they could they could do whatever they wanted. The After you've been sitting there for half an hour in, like, the TikTok do dark hole. The TikTok dark hole of just, <laughs> yeah. like, I'm just going to keep watching video after video. Dude, they can do whatever <laughs> they wanted to you. Oh, yeah. You don't push you down. You couldn't even <laughs> run away. You're lazy. You're like, no. I mean, no. that's a lot of times why I don't even get up because I stand up and I just, like, get right back down. <laughs> right. I've been sitting here for so long, I don't even know where my legs are. I, I don't know how to work anymore. Uh, damn. That's interesting. Like telescopic it. urinals. That is, like, literally, Dude. telescopic urinals need to be a thing outside of just Britain. It needs to be a yes, thing, it though. Does. It does. Dude, the, like, what yeah. does it hurt I be, I think, by putting them in? Right. And if you don't... Okay, I like the... Really, what I think it is, is we need more public restrooms. And I like the way they did their public restrooms. Because public restrooms are very dangerous. But if you take down the walls and you cover the one part that everyone seems to not be able to get over... Which is weird to me, because with animals and stuff, we see their dick and balls and vagina all the time. And no one really seems to freak out about that. Yeah. You know? But because us, oh. So, well, because like they... everything with humans is sexualized. Right. That's all. Right. That's the reason. So now that they cover the one big part, I think it solves a big issue. I think it's a brilliant solution. I really do. Can I also just say, I love the fact that they call it telescopic, because it also leads, like, imagination and creativity. Well, well to be honest, to it. when... Like, <laughs> be honest like it wasn't just man crushed by urinal. It was man crushed by telescopic urinal, yeah, which is why I went, huh... As what as, is telescopic? That sounds right. science. It, I want to know more about this as science. As as, They're as also as, called retractable urinals. I, I prefer telescopic. Oh, I do too. <laughs> as soon as you said it, I was thinking of a telescope coming up through his pipes and somehow like damaging his innards. <laughs> like someone was sneaking, like sneaking peeks and got too close with the camera. I, I was thinking about one of the ones that like you can see from a Google image here. The ones that are like cups for women, like funnels. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Yeah, like like the, the yeah that makes yeah. it just so that they can pee anywhere. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, I love it. I just I feel bad that a man thing. had to die, 
But I like I like where you're going, Britton. And it's like bringing, you know, that man's life is bringing this to the attention of the world about we need these. We need these telescopic yeah, we do. We do. We just need to perfect them. Yeah. And I think in America we can because we have a bunch of safety fucking rules. Yeah. Do you know how many idiots I saw survived at the factory because there's fucking safety rules? Yeah. You know, and I wish Darwinism would have taken them out. Like, because then every time they get saved, all I think about is you get to breathe, oh. you motherfucker. Dar was, Dar was, oh man, we could talk another hour about that. That's its own thing. <laughs> That's, yeah, it is. That's its own I'm thing. I'm sitting there like, oh, like, like people are like, why is the world where it's at today? Well, you ever think because a bunch of people that would have fucking died from stupidity are still here and get to breed? <laughs> I think about that every day. Every day. Every day. <laughs> <laughs> Like, because that, yeah. it's a real thing. I'm one of the stupid people. Dude, honestly, <laughs> okay, I'm going to sound really bad for this, but sometimes I've thought about, I don't know, I don't know if we should or not, okay, because I'm not perfect or not, but I have bad around the idea in my head as I'm driving. Should we make people take tests to vote? No. Oh, yeah. Absolutely not. Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. Absolutely not. This is getting on a political level. And I want to avoid it as much as possible. Yeah. I'm just saying that we should not give people tests in order to be able to vote. We need to have people educated and understand what the policies are that they're voting for. Now, true, but people are allowed sense. to have their opinions. You know, like, like whatever. No, 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 no. Just wait. In the same sense, just like the homeless people who get to choose, hey, I don't want health care. There are going to be people who choose. I do not want education. Okay. Now, if that's the case... And uh, as well, it, it kind of sits right now, a lot more people are choosing not to have an education. Yeah, but... And that's, again, a, another dangerous conversation because it's just like, whatever comes down to the end of it, like, like it's... There's such a lack of education in the United States mm -hmm. and, you know, arguably the world that, you know... I think... Uh, Testing people in order to be able to vote will only turn the needle to a very specific sector of I people mean, that we right. don't that we don't want to rule the country as well because there's so much greed and they're because they're they're wealthy and educated and we don't want them to have the only say, but we also want people that can't find that education easily. You know, like yeah. Harvard's expensive. Like Yale's expensive, well, and it doesn't mean that just because you went to Yale, you're smart. No, no, and it you doesn't. You can graduate from Yale, but you can be a fucking idiot. But and just because you grew up in McKeesport, yes. Pittsburgh, which I love McKeesport, I really right, do. Right. Just because you're in McKeesport doesn't mean that you don't have the right to that education. But I right. think that we should make it more, especially because like the world's getting smaller with technology. Yeah. It's so hard to find. And I think that this is on purpose. It's so hard to find these political conversations yeah. that we're having, like whether it be abortion or gun rights well, well, or whatever. It doesn't I, matter I what the topic right. I is. Think, I think they need talked about no matter what. Isn't it so hard to find good, un, like biased, bipartisan yes. information? It's so hard to find bipartisan. Is that the one side or the other? It's always one side yeah. or the other, and that's what's driving and that. And I think that's that the biggest. World. I think that's the biggest deploy. We'll get off of this real quick. But I think that's the biggest deploy is the fact that each side's against each other instead of just trying to find the right reason. They're but like they're almost like gearing up for battle. But then and, at the and, same and, time... And then you look at it and you go, well, should, we just need the right answer. But at know? the same time, those, uh, those political figures, they're also going to Washington and they're together the most. And they're not necessarily against each other, too. Oh, no, no, no. I get that. You know what I mean? No, like, no, so what, that's why what, it's I so guess, weird. I guess, I guess you're missing what I mean. What I'm saying is I feel like the people of cities, like the average person, we all feel one way. And we're all like, okay, yeah, like we're good on this. And then it seems like the people above us all feel another way. And that's what I mean. Like, that's the okay. disconnect. But – all right, Drew, you, you've been showing me a bunch of stuff. You've been giving yep. me hand signals. What the fuck do you want to talk about? Uh, I think it's at the point where we're going to do my little question thing at the Ooh. end of the episode. Okay. All right. Now, just a little brief introduction to you. This is uh, These questions are pretty quick. They're just okay. designed to be yeah. uh, really quick answers. 
Yeah, they're three, funny. Four answers. seconds. Fun. That's what you started writing earlier. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. what's he hey, doing? Yeah, they're funny. Answers. I thought you were like gonna write me a little secret note, be like, Trey, Trey, do you want to go to prom with me? Yes or no? That's why I thought okay. you were writing. That's the first one. Would you like to go to prom with me? Yes, hundred percent. They're funny. As long as you, I'm Little Spoon. You're Big Spoon. Okay. Can we both wear tuxedos? Yes, hundred percent. I like that. But guys, uh, like, as long as they're orange and blue, yes. dumb and dumber. These, these aren't meant to trip you up in any way. Usually. G- give me the time, first thing that comes to your head. Yep. First thing that comes to your head. Drew's okay. going to, it's nothing to trip you up or get you in trouble. Okay. okay. First one is uh, we've determined that you're a pretty good bowler. You're pretty good uh, m- with math wise and things like that. Uh, is there anything that you can't do? Is there something that you fall on your face every single time you do it? Ooh, good question. Drew. Eating broccoli. Uh, Volleyball. Okay. <laughs> I'm terrible at volleyball. Um, I don't know why. I'm just, that's not a sport of mine. Um, I'm trying to think. Uh, yeah, I'm remembering what I'm going to do tomorrow. Hey, that works. <laughs> there you go. Uh, yeah. You, you were talking about D&D, how you have done it in the past and things like that. What's your favorite class and race to play? Okay, so um, I had this character... In, I've only done like maybe a handful or sessions. Like it's not like I've done a ton of campaigns mm-hmm. and stuff. Uh, I had this character called No Mercy. <laughs> He's um, a gnome. <laughs> gnome, yeah. So gnome's gonna be my favorite class uh, character. I like like cheeky characters that like do weird things. Like okay. it's not. Uh, I've always been a support kind of role. Um, a bard. Not a bard. I love um, bards, bro. No, I'm no, always... I don't do bards. Uh, oh, that's I just like, like my new shit, bards. I like that random person just comes into the clutch because I've got this like stat that never gets used, but all of a sudden I'm like, I'm max on this, so it doesn't matter what I roll, and like now I have to get the information. Like <laughs> I, I'm just that guy. Like I used to, I used gotcha. to be. I used to be rogues all the time because they would have, you know, you could be mm-hmm. good charisma and all that with them. But then at one point, Drew and I were talking. I'm like, I'm just going to be a bard who just <laughs> fucks everything in game. I'm, I'm <laughs> Any mid- and everything in game I'm going to fuck. <laughs> so, like, most people would think I play rogue because I love min-maxing. Yeah. And that's what rogue's all about. But I love min-maxing to utility. So, like, that's that's usually the case. Monk was another play. fun one because you can get their evade, like, you can, with a monk. You get their class up so well, nothing can hit you. You don't even need fucking uh, like armor. You can just evade everything. So, so I did this similar build, but I did an illusion wizard. So, Ooh, like nice. the illusions were like, like yeah, uh, yeah, like, like they thought, yeah. So, like I would like distract like whatever was attacking by being the illusion wizard, and I was so good at it because I min max that it's like, oh, that person can't hit the rest of my party. So that's what made me, like, a support. Right. Because I, like, created this image of myself that was so convincing that they had no choice but to attack it. But, yeah. <laughs> right. All right. Uh, either pre-fire or post-fire, what was uh, the best magic card you had? The best, most expensive, whatever, you, how you want to answer it? Oh, shoot. Your favorite. Well, yeah, Drew's right. Can I, can I talk best about my... favorite. favorite. Can I... Can I talk about my favorite deck that I had? Yeah, because quickly, that's actually but one single. Card. That was that was too that was too much because I I don't know the different generations honestly. Okay. Like even though I was really heavy into it, like I couldn't tell you what card came from what generation. I just honestly like just worked together to make decks okay. like most of the time. Um, I had a mirror deck. Okay. That was ridiculous. It would copy what other people were playing. It would just copy what other people were doing. It. You know that there's, like, that Magic the Gathering role that, like, you can't have an unlimited cycle? Mm-hmm. Well, I was able with a mirror deck to technically create an uh, unlimited cycle, but I had to continue to tap and untap in order to be able to do it. So it's technically still limited based off of my response. Okay. Not based off of what the card said. So it was still legal, technically, in, like, open play, but it I could, like, load up a character as high as i needed to in order to win a game infinite yeah. comma gotcha so yeah. Drew, you said the stuffy doll deck actually still has it one of my favorite decks of his to play and it, you it, just get a stuffy doll it's out. an indestructible that doll yep. doll that whenever you get damaged it actually deals it deals back. it to you so okay. no matter what damage is dealt to you you just deal it to the opponent i love my knight deck too because there was uh that that's actually what my favorite card would be and i can't even remember what the name of it but it made all your other knights indestructible okay um, it would have been from like MGT twenty. Okay, I want to say it was that era, 
But if you put two of them out there, that meant that all of the cards between the two of them, including themselves, would be indestructible. And right. that was that was a fun card. That was an angel game. thing he liked. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah stupid angels, question uh, here. Knights. Uh, would, no you ra- <laughs> would you rather every single one of your fingers be dicks or your dick be a single finger? That's a good one. <laughs> but my, I think, I think my dick's already a single finger, so like no, no, no. I'm going to no, stick with not. that. No, it's not. Think no? about it. A finger can oh, bend. Yeah, it can game. bend. It has a nail on right? it. Right, it has a nail. It can do this. You can't do that with your dick. Yeah. Um, but it also, rather... think about it, it also doesn't have the pleasure senses. So just like when you touch glass, it's nowhere near as sensitive <laughs> as when you rub your dick on glass. So yeah. when you put your finger in a vagina, it doesn't feel nearly as good as your dick is. Yeah, but when you have dick fingers, you're going to feel the... Oh, 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 yeah. Every little sensitive thing. But they can get hard and longer. Dick as a finger, 100%. All of them? Every All of single them. one of ten fingers? I mean, no, no, dicks. dick. Dick as a finger. Okay. 100%. <laughs> dick as a finger. Because one, I could cover that. You know, like it might be a weird conversation for my wife, but um, like, hey... Uh, you can take a look We're going to take a whole new uh, level it. of uh, what fingering actually is. That's now our intercourse. It'll be but, closer. Um, it'll be yeah. closer. Listen, if your finger was a dick, your dick would be closer to her toys. Ooh. Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah. Those are so... No, I prefer for that finger to be like technically what you consider upside down. So no, 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 nail oh, no, 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 You have to handstand to make it go the way you yeah. want now. Yeah, nail up, bro. Just like all your other hands. Fucking, nail up. Motivation. Fucking reverse cowgirl. Motivation to, to learn acrobatics. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'll make it work. All right. I'll, I'll make one. it work. At least your dick right now stands up like this, hopefully. <laughs> all right. On to the next question. First thing that comes to your mind. Ready? Guilty pleasure song. Tenacious D, um, fuck her gently. Okay. Okay. Uh, Rap, rap or rock? That's not a guilty pleasure song, but okay. Rap. I want to go rap. Like you said, first thing off the top of my head. Rap rap. or rock and you go rap. I go rap. I go rap because like rap. That's how you know he's a vocalist over an instrumentalist. There's so much with rap, like not only just the rhyming, but the way that they put things together. I disagree. I think, I think rap when it comes to a lot of musical uh, ways is actually the most simplistic because all you're worrying about is the rhythm of your voice over the simplest that backtrack that too where as an instrumentalist i gotta worry about everything going on and the more complicated you make the drums the more complicated you have to make everything that and in. and also with like an adhd mindset thrown back to that that like I hear every word rappers say. I don't like the mumble rap shit. If I can't understand it, like, yeah. no, I'm not talking about that rap. I'm talking about, like, OG, you know, well, like, Snoop. Okay, well, and right, and I guess I guess he said, what do you Dr. enjoy? Dre. He said, what do you enjoy the most? So it doesn't come down to, like, me, I enjoy instrumentalists the most because of what I explained to you. Yeah. You can enjoy a rap the most because you like vocals. Yes. So, and there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. So, I'm just I'm just saying But like, Rock has amazing vocals, but some, like so they have godlike vocals. What I should say Is well, it like marry one, kill one? Because if no, it's marry one, no. I'm gonna go yeah. rock all day long because I'm but, not I, I don't want But here's my like, thing. Here's my thing when it comes to rock and rap. I think rap talks about more sensitive issues. Yes. And they hit more of an emotional stance where rock has some godlike singers. Like, like the notes that they can hit and how they hit them are like godlike. Yeah. But some of the stuff they talk about is not as sensitive. <laughs> uh, so yeah. on to the next one. Uh, what's your favorite artist? Doesn't have to be from rap or rock, whatever. Uh, favorite tenacious, artist band. Tenacious D. Drew, okay. what's 100%. yours? 100%. You've oh, never said uh, it. It's been a while. What's yours? New artist. Found, newfound Glory. Newfound? Oh, it's oh. still Newfound Glory. So, did you go a couple of years ago whenever they were at PNC Park? Uh-uh. The, uh, I've only been to one, two concerts, and it was the same band. Okay. <laughs> well, we've been to Real Big Fish. fish. Oh, yeah. that was it. Uh, I'm not going to get into too much about the background here, but uh, g- give me a little financial information. CDs or bonds? <laughs> Depends on your risk tolerance. Not Next. CDs or bonds. Depends on your risk tolerance. Nope. Nope. I, we nope. Don't know, nope. You don't know nope. anything about me. Hit me with one. Depends on your risk tolerance. Nope. We're going to skip over that one. <laughs> skip. <laughs> uh what was your favorite subject in school math uh i i love math um i got terrible grades in math <laughs> terrible grades That's because funny. um i didn't do homework uh i refused to do homework yeah. i hated homework because to me whenever they teach a subject especially in math 
because I was proficient in it. I should have been able to test out literally almost the day of or the next day that they gave that information because th that would show that I understood it. That like, right. yeah, They if, want you to retain it for longer than that. But even no, but though, that shows that the under, if you can take a test on it, you're going to retain it longer than a year. Yeah. Like, bro, bro, if it, like, seriously, if I told you that, you know, green is a complementary color to red, then the next day I tested you and you got it right, are you going to forget that information? Well, Maybe. he could. He could. No, no, no. Be realistic. Tell me right now because there's information that's very complicated that you still remember. Yeah. You barely got taught about physics. Probably. Yeah, like so I learned, are you gonna forget that a simple combination? I, I took not. it uh, just real quick. I took a class in high school statistics. Um, I took it just because I wanted to. Um, it had nothing to do with me graduating, and my mom actually had to sign a waiver. Wow! To allow me to take statistics because it was like a college high school class. And you weren't eighteen at the time. Um, yeah, I wasn't eighteen at the time. Good for but, you um, being in college. What's what's I funny? I graduated at nineteen. But yeah, I what's funny? At Seventeen. With that, with that whole thing is that, like, I walked in the first day and I said mm -hmm. to my math teacher, I'm going to fail this class. Yeah. And honestly, it was the best teacher I ever had in my entire high school, like, whatever. Because he, he said, like, why? And I said, because I'm not going to do a single homework. Like, I'm not going to do any of your homework. And I'm not going to take your test serious. I'm just here to learn. And he said to me... He said, I want you to come back here after so many years and tell me where you're at because that's actually one of the most interesting ways someone's ever talked Forward to me. Forward thinking. Forward thinking that, like, I didn't care about doing extra work. I didn't care about his tests. Sounds like us in Latin. So, <laughs> so what's really funny is <clears throat> Drew went to college. I never did, right? I knew. He sat in enough classes. Well, just wait. I, I knew that I could not be a college kid. I, yeah. I would not be Same. disciplined enough to go to classes, to do the homework, to... Uh, Where's it hiding? <laughs> to uh, do the homework, to be responsible. I knew that. Yeah. I knew I'm a worker, right? That's what I like to do. Give me something. Tell, Give me a list. Tell me, get it done, and I will get it done before you fucking can think I can get it done. ADHD. Yeah. Right? That's where that pops in. Uh, but I would sit in on classes all the time, all the fucking time. And I think like when I was in high school, there was always like the pressure of grades and this and that, and you had to listen, had to take notes. And I think once I started sitting in a lot of those classes without the pressure, I learned to love education. Yeah. Because I'm just learning College things. College professors don't really care no, about you in that big of a grand scheme. No, no, they don't. No. And and when it came to college, the They're way they were to teach you hundred percent, yeah. the yeah. way they would talk and the way they would present things. Now I'd sit in on random classes. I wasn't there day one. I wasn't there day two. I was on random. Sometimes they were random. Day sixty nine. You know, foreign class. I didn't even know what they were speaking. Yeah. But to me, it was like, oh my god, look at all this knowledge that I. Didn't even know existed, well, let alone even have a comprehension of. Well, and I I do kind of take it back to ADHD because the thing is that like whenever we understand something, we know something. Like we're gonna move on from that. Like we're yeah. bored with it. We're bored at right. that point. Like we know it, we understand it. It's fine. Right, let's go. We we do retain a lot of information in that aspect. Yeah. But whenever we don't know something, or if we see something, we're like we don't understand that. Or if we even start to research, we don't understand. We gonna research Hard. all of it. Yeah. Every, I will spend three like, hours till I know I understand like, what it's it is. Funny, it's funny because one of the biggest complaints I would get from a lot of uh, ex-lovers and things like that is, oh, you can't let certain things go. And I learned that's a lot of my ADHD because when a certain thing would happen, it like either didn't understand it or it didn't compute with my brain. So I had to obsess over it until it made sense to fucking me. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? Until it made sense to me. It, it, to, it was, why the fuck does it even exist? Yeah. You know, I don't know what there is with the world and how I comprehend it, but, like, it has to make sense to me. And if it doesn't make sense to me, it's it's a big, like, I, I will obsess over it and it will eat at me. Drew's so nervous right now because we're at, like, an hour and 28 minutes. No, and we're no, only, no, no. like, partway through. No, 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 no. <laughs> I gave him the sign earlier because you were talking so well. And honestly, 
I mean, he let's might just edit, roll. I mean, he might edit this part out, but yeah. I gave him the thing. You were talking so well. We're having such a good time. Let's keep rolling. <laughs> let's we're just not, roll on. Well, let right, me just... roll into the next question. Right, yeah. right, right. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I see you over there, like, keep peeking over, and I'm like, let's just don't keep worry, paying attention to that. We can, we, can have a, we can have a... Listen, man. Um, Listen, man. The lunch table part two with Trey. No. <laughs> I mean, we definitely could. We definitely could. Don't get me wrong. Uh... Usually, usually our episodes are around an hour or something, but if we have a good guest, two hours, whatever, they'll get a, a, a okay. the the guests are just gonna get. I mean, the listeners are just gonna get a little extra. Okay, that's, that's all there's to it. <laughs> all right, cool. Funny though, we are further down my list than you think I am. We're actually on the last second to last question. Oh, okay. I'm <laughs> so sorry. My, so my second to last question here, uh, a little theory. Uh, tell me what you think would happen here uh, if you were time traveler and you get it on with your grandma. And you come in your grandma. Wow. And that baby that she has is a female. Are you technically still your own grandpa? Would you even exist? Yes. Can I be honest with you? <laughs> I'm going to be thinking about this for like the next like. You know, you know, that was an episode. Of Future no, Mama. to be honest with you, I'm going to forget yeah, after not tonight. The female part. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. But I. I can't even answer that because I would have to think for so long that I might text you an answer well, later. Would you like Michael J. Fox from Back to the Future, like instead of the picture fading away, would I don't you think just be become you. a woman? Because here's, uh, the, here's <laughs> the thing. Here's the thing. Here's why I think that whole philosophy is fucked up. It's too much. No, 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 no. <laughs> because in, the, in, in history, before he went back in time, if his said grandpa had a boy... That is how he was born. Right. If he well, went yeah. back in time, exactly. if he went back in time, re-implanted the seed, and it was a girl, that's a whole new... Now you're thinking of branch. Exactly. Now Technically, you're thinking of branch point, theory. Would you, you could still be my exist, kid. though? Yes. Well, I, you could be a descendant of my at kid. At that point... Without right, even knowing it. Right. I at that, your, at that I, I hit your mic. Didn't you mean to? <laughs> <laughs> you're, he's right. At that point... Everything's up in the air. You can be exactly. his son. That's that's why I was just asking. Yeah. What that's outside of the happen? that's outside of the paternal line. You yeah. know, yeah. right, you, right. You, you you're saying you're saying he changed the line with his DNA. You, Therefore, you're probably likely not going to be born. You you're already giving it a thought in your head. Do you exist or not exist? Right. I but real I quick. do exist. No, 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 real quick. I, no. no, flip up the coin. You got to flip I the do coin. Exist. In your head. Okay. I do exist. Okay. There you go. Oh, okay. I do exist because there we, go. we got to do exist. Even if I went back in time and did that, I'm not my own grandpa at that point. My grandpa is still knocked up the same line of what he's going created off a me. branch. He's going off a branch. I couldn't be here. So like, he's, yeah, he's going off okay. a branch theory. I'm where, going off okay. of like affairs. Like, uh, you're telling me so you're going I go back in time to convince my grandma to have an affair with me. So, Drew. But the not... line is still there. Okay. Drew. So, I'm still Drew, here. You didn't watch Dragon Ball Z, did you? No. So, when Trunks it's... comes back from the future. <laughs> this... <laughs> this is where he's getting it at. It is. It this is. This is exactly where he's getting at. Okay. When Trunks comes back from the future, he does it to save his timeline. He comes back, warns everybody that they're all going to die from blank. They all train. They beat blank. He goes back to his said future. Nothing is fixed. Because yeah. he created a branch. Yes. That is exactly what would happen the, to him, the, I feel like. Yeah. That's, that's fine. I'm not worried about yeah. that. I'm saying it was a question about, is it? Are, do you believe in the branch theory? Or do you believe in the erase no, it from no, the past? No, I agree with you. And we're in the branch theory. Dude, I, I don't believe in time travel because that has been proven Uh-oh. except for in Rick and Morty. True, true. That's my favorite time travel. True, I agree with you. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just explaining it as easy as I can explain it. Last fucking question. Get okay, bring it on. Okay. This one's fairly easy. I ask this to everybody who we interview. Uh, same question every time. At you the better end. get it. You better get oh, yeah. this. Yeah. No, I won't 100- let you touch me inappropriately. That's the wrong answer. Yes. Okay. <laughs> you mean yet. Because it's yet. not over yet. yet. Yeah, it's true. Uh, give the audience a, uh, a, a drink suggestion. Uh, what, what drink should they go out? What should their next one be? It can be alcoholic, non-alcoholic, whatever the hell you want it to be. You want them to have a Jack on the Rocks? You want them to have a... Coke with Sprite mix. Um, based off of me or based off you. of what oh, yeah, they you. may like? Am what I going to... No, 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 no. Just they, give them a recommendation. Give them the essence of you. Give if they want to be you and they want to they wanna get in your mindset, what's one okay. of the drinks they can get in? So the number one thing I recommend to people that 
drink, will drink. Yeah. Um, and even though if they hate Jaeger, I love Jaeger and root beer because, yeah. like, yeah. kind of like a rum and coke. Yeah. Jaeger and root beer on like the simplest form of like a cocktail, right? Where you got one ounce or two ounces for you know like an eight ounce glass. Yeah. Um, it's really good. It tastes like a root beer float. Ooh. Um, the root beer completely masks the Jaeger. You won't even know you're drinking Jaeger. Uh, even if you say you absolutely hate Jaeger, you drank it in college, you can't even like stomach it, stomach it anymore. If you can drink root beer, you can have this drink and it, it's really good. So what are you calling it? Uh, it's actually called the, the Dante. There you go. <laughs> That's what you wanted to be Dante, called. Equal parts root beer and Jaeger, right? Uh, equal parts root beer to Jaeger is the way that I drink ice? it. Ice? Uh, yes, with ice. Um, I make half and halves whenever I do Jaeger and root beer. Uh, my wife will tell me tell you that I make like two two thirds parts Jaeger, one yeah. third part you make root strong. beer. Yeah, yeah, a shot of root beer. Now. As I'm sipping here, but uh, yeah, uh, Jaeger and root beer I recommend to a lot of people. Even if you don't like it, if you like root beer, you'll like this. Gotcha. Yeah. Well, bud, that's all my questions. You've been through completely the list. There you go. Try all right. It. Try any questions you have for us, bud. Um, because I, I know you, you're not going to, besides your podcast that you're thinking about starting, mm-hmm. you're, I, I, we usually we go into plugs, but I know you're not going to have much to plug because you, you like you like your privacy. Yeah. Besides, uh, like we talked about earlier, maybe the podcast will start. And once, if, if yeah. you ever do, give us a heads up. We'll, yep. we'll put or, in a link, whatever. Or you can be like me and just stalk his profile. Be, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, uh, don't come it. find me. <laughs> <laughs> but is there anything you want to know from us? Anything that you saw on our podcast that you got questions about? What's up? I, I actually, um, yes, there is. Because okay. uh, we've been in bowling yeah. for what? 18 weeks now something yeah. like that it's been a long time 19 yeah. weeks 20 weeks yeah it's been a long while can you give me like uh this might be edited out but like where are you guys from are you guys from hermitage okay yeah, we're from the area so i was born in sharon okay okay after i was born in sharon my mom moved to about transfer lived in the projects there uh, the or, projects of transfer. I can't imagine what that's like. If you go down eighteen, have you ever it's been right to Greenville? There. Yeah. Oh, one hundred percent. I lived in Greenville. Oh, okay. For a little bit. So down eighteen, the projects on the left, right there. Oh, that's right not there. The projects. It's a trailer park. No, no, no. That's on the right. You, okay. So halfway between transfer and PA, or I mean transfer and Greenville, you have headlines. Yeah. Right before, uh, once you go up then from Headliners. Then they've done that back in the day. Right. Once you go up from Headliners, there's a sign dealership, and there's a project right behind it. Really? You never look to your right? It's considered the projects? It's the, dude, it's Project House. It's Section 8 housing. I projects. mean, is it is it bad? Yeah. I mean, I mean, people do heroin and shit. Okay. Shoot each other. Shit. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> Actually... We Those grew- transfer police do more than just, uh, you know, travel around Shenango and make sure there aren't people, like, drinking too heavily. Right. Hey, yeah. that's how we got arrested. You, you figured arrested. it out. <laughs> oh. But, uh, hey. But, like, I grew it's up a, there. It's coming full circle now. I, I grew up there. I grew For everyone up. who made it through this entire podcast, so, like, that's how you know I that, say, like. <laughs> I should say, I started out in, the uh, like, literally Canard Atlantic of Greenville, like, the country of country of Greenville. Yeah. Like, where the only thing we had was a post office. Yeah. That's it in town. Uh, the country, Greenville is the country. No, no, no. I mean, I lived country of Greenville. Yeah. The only roads were dirt. That's where I started out. Then I went to the projects. Then I went to Sharon Projects. Then I went back to transfer. Then I went to, like, around fifth grade, I was getting in a lot of trouble. Then there, there I went to Kite Strings. I went to fucking Insane Homes. I went to, I've been all over, bro. Okay. Been all over. Then I finished my high school and transfer. So okay. So I finished in transfer. So like okay. I, I kind of got bounced all over. Okay. And I had to learn how to be in an EBA just because I kept meeting with new groups, and new people. Like I remember the first time I was, uh, I went to the insane asylum in Sharon. It was like the fourth floor. And the first day I was there, the dude choked me out because I had brown eyes and he didn't like it. <laughs> so I had to learn how to now, deal with that guy and how to how to learn how to deal with brown eyes. Well, uh, I, I got Seriously. two questions yeah. to ask you. Yeah, go ahead. 
I mean, you went to the insane asylum in Sharon. Yeah. I was choked about, you out for was, having brown eyes. Are you, was, sh- are you was, sure you weren't just imagining that? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I was about, when I went, I was about what? 10. 10? Yeah. Is it like a group home or is it like no. actually like no, a no, ward? I got, no, I got, it was a ward. I got pulled away from my family. I got padded cell. Padded cell. Until I calmed straight down. Straight jacket. Why? Well, 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 I got straight jacket because I didn't want to go. So as they were forcing me out of the elevator to go, they, once they finally got me out and I was violent, so they put me in a straight jacket. Then they get, pumped me full of drugs to pass me out. I feel like this topic is going to be continued after this, but like I feel like all of this is going to be edited out. But I no, want to learn more no, about no, it. Yeah, no? yeah. I, Honestly, if you you want to come back, this is a topic I would love to talk about. All Mental this? health is a huge topic that I yes. love talking about, especially like you already saw with ADHD. Talk about like this? I would love to talk about this as well. You, like, you, it, this listen, is... man, you free another time because yeah, this is a whole 100%. new episode. Before we get into it, and we spend another three hours on this. Okay, um, we'll get we'll get all into this. Our ADHD because I yeah. love having another ADHD guy. We'll, oh, we'll, big we'll play time! A whole other topic. Okay, my yeah, my origin is a little more simple. <laughs> uh, I know your wife because we were in the same hometown. Yeah, yeah. Greenville. I, I was just in a little more farming area of that, where Drew's, she was in the city. <laughs> Before we get How, into it, Drew's family actually founded Greenville. He has he has all the paperwork oh. and everything. Drew, the Lots and Isers are the ones who founded. The Greenville. reason it's called Greenville is because somebody in my family went, "Oh, this is really green." Yeah, have <laughs> no, all that's the paperwork how most and everything. Things are named right. Yeah, but yeah. I mean, he he is part of the founding family that made that city. That's awesome. Isn't yep. that sweet? That's great news. Yep. Yeah, that's I'm cool. I'm sorry where it's at right now, but it's getting better. <laughs> There's a lot of development that's going to be well, happening, you know. <laughs> way away from the city. <laughs> no, the only knock I have on Greenville is that, like, whenever I went and lived there, I was, like, very relatively new, like, ish to the area. I'd already worked at Hermitage, but I never really was in Greenville. Yeah. And my wife's from Greenville, and she's awesome. And, like, her family's awesome because, like, they've owned relatively big businesses back in the day. So, okay. like, they know everyone in Greenville. So, like, my wife's like, right. hey, I know everyone in Greenville. Yeah. Like, right. it's cool. Come move here. You'll I can introduce you to people. I just like that. that to you. Yeah, you know, and yeah. it's just like, oh yeah, it's awesome. Like I I I want to meet people. Like because like with small towns, you just don't want to right be have no one out. to talk to. Yeah, be the odd man out. Um, what really set me like different from Greenville was that like on a Monday, there's literally nowhere to get food. Yep. Everywhere is closed. Yeah. Like, there's pizza joints that are closed on a Monday. Yeah. I'm like, what? Like, let's order from here. Close. Let's order from there. Close. They have, like, five pizza joints. Well, at least back in the day, they had, like, five pizza joints. Oh, yeah. They were all closed on Monday. It's like, what do we do on a Monday whenever we've forgotten what we should order? And I was like, you know what? I'm not living here for the rest of my life. <laughs> we're going to Hermitage. That's actually how it was decided that I came south of Greenville was because... On any given night of the week, I can get food. That is how we decided on that, pretty much. <laughs> that oh, was no. the number one thing. <laughs> oh, no, I understand. The, the, the city of Greenville is great for uh, upbringing, but not sustainability. No, they're working on it. There's, there's they're, good, they're working on it, know. but There's slowly. great restaurants that have come to See, town here's, and stuff. Here's so. why I like Greenville. The exact reason you hate it, and you were like, oh, man, on this day we can't order pizza. That's why I love it. Because on those days, it's like, yeah, we have to have a home-cooked meal. And it's like, you keep that standard. Like, no, in, in this town, we do not go out and order on this day because nowhere's even open. We're keeping the standard. And, like, to me, like, uh, uh, it's funny because uh, the person that I'm, you know, messing around with, she's big on, like, well, what's, what's your love language? And I learned, like, with me, like, Cooking, oh, man. cooking and doing things like that is my love language. Like, being simple and doing stuff for one another mm-hmm. shows me that you care and you want to be a part of whatever we're building. Yeah. Right? And that's what I appreciate. That's why I love the country. I actually love the country that's because... That's what I appreciate about you. That's what I appreciate about Drew. <laughs> <laughs> but that's why I love the country because the further you get out, the more you have to rely on each other. And it's like, well, how much are you willing to do? Yeah. Like, I'm willing to grow food for my family. I'm willing to learn that. I'm willing yeah. to pick that food to provide for you, to make sure that you live and you become a stronger person. Yeah. 
and I want to see that out of my partner. So, like, to me, in a, in a way where people look at that as a negative, I've always looked at it as a positive. Like, hey, man, this is a positive because you can't go get shit, and you got to rely on yourself. Yeah. I don't like that small-town mentality. I don't. Yeah. I agree with him. I, no, 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 I, I do. I can see where you guys are coming from, in, but I, in, think, I think that makes you more reliant on things. In our current, like... You like what you like? Yeah, but in our current world, I don't know. I just... I enjoy the roughing it and being able to, like, because I'm a hunter. I love being able to hunt for my own food and stuff like that. But at the same time, if I don't have to, I don't want to need to. Yeah, see, to but me. But I can't. I can. I can make that to a regular me it's not, thing. It's not about the need to. It's not that I need to do it. It's you want to do it for others because you know you're providing them something. So. Okay, let's take meat for example. I could take, I could buy meat. I could buy meat from any butcher, but at the same, at the same stance, I gotta take that butcher's word for whatever's in that meat. I don't know. I really what's don't know. What's a Tommy boy? What's the Tommy boy uh, sales line? Um, you can I can stick my, I could stick my head up a bull's ass, or I can just take the butcher's, butcher's word, word for it. it. So. But also, but you can that you can say that, that what it is. <laughs> you get, yeah, that's exactly what it is. But at the same time, he's explaining that he's not a butcher. Where I'm explaining, I know the country enough. I know what meat is good meat. Yeah. So the, the difference is I'm not uneducated like him to take someone else's word. That's where that phrase comes from. Like, hey, I could make an assumption about this, but I'd rather take the professional's word on it. Yeah. Okay. Well, there's the difference. Do you hunt? Yes, I do hunt. And I, I have raised cattle and killed cattle. You you raise and kill cattle, mm-hmm. okay? But uh, like that's why it's important to me. It's not hard to do this stuff. It's to me, it's nature. Yeah. That is how we start a civilization. So for us to give up on it, it's giving up our freedom and our rights. Yeah, right. I agree. Like like uh, to allow the government to provide us with more, or provide uh, anyone to provide us with more. We are giving up an individual right. Yeah, because we are no longer learning how to do that. No longer like look at blacksmithing. Blacksmithing used to be a thing everybody's family knew how to do, but or roughly. I digress again. I would prefer to buy pizza from you versus some large corporation. Yeah, but that's because you're that's doing all that yourself. I just wish it was there on Monday. But that's, that's all I'm asking is that no, no, no. At the end of the day, I agree with you a thousand percent. You can go on an amazing tangent that I go, okay, so you're giving me reasons why I want to buy pizza from you on Monday, but unfortunately, yeah, but, but there's missing, nowhere to buy pizza on Monday. You're missing my point. <laughs> so you're also missing my point. <laughs> no, 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 no. You're missing my point. Your point is, hey, I would like to buy the pizza from you on Monday. Yeah. Because you provide blank experience. My point is don't uh, don't wait on people to to have that X experience. Learn how to do it yourself so you can provide for yourself. Hundred percent, I agree. So therefore, it doesn't matter if they're closed on Monday because you can provide for yourself. Yeah, but I you still want on. pizza on Monday. I mean, you can. <laughs> so now where I live, I can get pizza on a Monday. Yeah, 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 yeah. But but <laughs> little Caesars but right to down be there. Fair, but, <laughs> but to be fair, is it of uh, as high a quality? No, no, it never is. No, so the sacrifice not making pizza on Sunday for yourself to get pizza on Sunday for yourself, you are killing yourself essentially. Yes, yes. but you're also talking to an extreme foodie <laughs> that makes a lot of stuff at home that hunts right. and does everything. I never raised cattle, but like I'm very much farm to table, and like me and my wife have been making more yeah, but if, of do a you focus go to of that. Caesars on Sunday, Monday, no. Monday. It's Monday. I mean, on a Monday, I don't have to anymore. Where do you go? So, like, if I want, uh, yeah, it's gonna be a chain. It's gonna, yeah. be, it's yeah. gonna be garbage. Yeah, so it's, gonna be it's, gonna be garbage. Right. it's gonna be garbage. It's gonna be garbage. So eating garbage because it's, it's easy. It's quick. Easy. It's I can't cheat most it's of the quick. time. I'm lazy. I can't. Yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. cutting corners only hurts yourself. So yeah. yeah, well, hundred percent. But if yeah. it's one day a week, I mean, it's better than the rest of uh, most people. So. Maybe, but but here's the thing: if you're arguing on Monday, you can't get a pizza. I'm arguing that it's probably not once a week you're going to do that stuff. Again, we're <laughs> back into this diet and uh, like you know workout routine that I started he, he a little bit ago. Gym. He went to the gym. Tell I went to the slack. gym. Yeah. Tell he, me he's some trying. slack. I'm uh, trying. I'm, I'm just, My wife is very much like buy I'm, it from I'm local. Not, I'm not. I'm not putting this against you. I'm just saying as a regular, as <laughs> Americans, as Americans in food. Oh. 
Oh, this, nine, is, this is a big point. I can't say 90%. I would say 75% of America is so reliant on corporate, like mm-hmm. corporate chains. It's because, sad. Because that's the thing, man. We're corporate sitting here, chains. We're sitting here doing a podcast. And I know, mm-hmm. I, I don't mean, I don't mean it to feel like it's attacking you. Oh, no. It's that's not. not that's it doesn't not what feel I mean. that way. That's not what I mean. It doesn't feel that way at all. Okay, good. Because that's not the way I mean it. No, no, no. I just know there's other listeners. Yeah. And I know there's a lot of people that have problem with food. Yeah. Like, that is a big issue in America of knowing when you're... It comes down to even, you know, finish your plate. Yeah. You know, because if you're full and you finish your plate... So, to me... And waste. Waste in general. Yeah. Do not go out and buy $200 worth of groceries because the thing is that at the end of the day, if you're throwing away $50 worth, you should be paying closer to... So many people get worked up over how much they spend on groceries. Yes. And don't even pay attention to how much they threw away. Yes. They don't. Because they spent $200 on groceries two months ago, and now things have gotten expired. Mm-hmm. They're not paying attention how much of that Waste. was thrown away. Yep. They could be throwing away $50, $75, $100 that they bought two months ago. Mm-hmm. And don't even realize that because it's just, oh, it's expired. I'm going to toss in there. Well, right. that's that's money out the window. Right. And that's that's right where um, I agree with, like, what we're doing right now, me and my wife, is yeah. that, like, we are focusing on literally we're not buying it unless we're cooking it this week or it's protein that can be frozen that, like, we have to thaw. But, like, we're not – buying things that sit in the cupboard right. as much as you much. know what i mean like yes. Yes. as much it's it's uh we have a lot of perishable goods that's fine mm-hmm. to a certain degree but like we're making more of a focus of using those perishable goods right. in our normal cooking that if we don't use it we we'll know it's there and we're going to use it later so we're being skimpy on our planning yes if that makes sense yeah no it 100 percent, man true yeah True. Since yeah. I saw Hi. You rush, Welcome I saw... back. Oh no, I was gonna draw something epic. <laughs> oh, do you want us to wait a second? Because I, I, I know you were, you were about no. getting ready for the plug, but no. I can, I can go on for a little bit. We, I mean, I'll show it later. Okay. Okay. So to get through some time to draw. Okay. But more importantly, I agree with you. I think what it comes down to, and and, and I, I don't disagree with you. Getting pizza on a Monday from some chain, you're, you're one hundred percent right. Every Once now and then, I need to be able to do that. Yeah. And and, 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 and honestly, no. Can I give you another weird, like, third level perspective to that? Go ahead. Yeah. Neighbors are not neighbors like they've been in the 90s or the 80s or the 70s mm-hmm. or the 60s. Well, the, the, the more technology, the less we are. The less we are neighbors. Yes. And, like, you can't rely on your neighbor nowadays. Mm-hmm. Like, honestly. And I also, I, I do understand how we got to this like world that like do you want to rely on your neighbor yes yes i i would like to would I you would love to have a like i have a great neighborhood i love what, all my what, neighbors well i guess what do you mean rely on because would i would i want them to hope that they could bring me food every day no that here's is the not thing the, that is not the back, life i want way back they would know you so well that if you broke your leg and couldn't work neighbors used to for the most part would would start bringing you food and goods and and help you yes that's if i I broke my leg today and i couldn't work tomorrow not that that's that specific injury is relevant to that my neighbors might be supportive but they're not going to they're not going to become like that yes that source yeah, that, that, that it doesn't exist anymore that support group they will not there's become. insurance and health care that pays for that and if they weren't set up that way Aflac. then does it really matter if, if they don't have aflac does it really matter that much so like i don't rely on my neighbors like people in the past used to do i love my neighbors i have a great neighborhood they're all amazing but at the end of the day like you don't rely on your neighbor like i've never run out of something and thought to myself, I'm going to walk across the street and ask for sugar. I've never done that. I've never done that. Right. I think my mom, my mom, whenever I was growing up, she has said, run over the neighbors to ask if they have sugar. That's not even a first thought of mine. But but what you got to ask yourself, is that a good or a bad thing? 
You know, because in a, in a lot of ways, I think that's more negative than what it is positive. It is more negative than it is positive, but at, at the same time, it's also positive because of the sense that you're more independent, but then at the same time, you're also more reliant on... But I, It see, depends on who you are as a person. See, Let me say that. It depends on who you are as a person. I think, see, this is... this is Okay, so this is going to be a very, very controversial take from me. But I believe a lot, a lot of mental health is due to narcissism. And there's like people that I'll talk to, right? And I talk to Nar- a lot of narcissists. Nar- well, not always, because just wait. There's people I'll talk to, like the ones are very depressed, and they'll go out and they're like, "Well, when I do something, I feel like people are all looking at me doing this mm-hmm. or doing that." Yeah. And it's like, well, what makes you so fucking great? To be honest, like not to be rude, but what makes you so fucking great that people are paying attention to you? Okay. Right. Like yeah. realistically. Like, even if you're in a bad state and you think people are, oh, they're judging me for this. What makes you so fucking great that me, an average person, is going to take time out of my day to fucking judge you? Yeah. Right? So, a lot of of it, to me, is is that same view in your head. Either it's narcissism or you're beating yourself up. Or if you're beating yourself up over over negative comments about people it's the same thing yeah you're thinking it's all about you you're and so vain you you're probably so vain. think this song is about, about you, you. That's you're where, so vain that's where when they say <laughs> pride like to have pride is what causes shame yeah it is true yeah because unless you're proud of something you know when someone makes fun of it you wouldn't feel shame for it correct and in that same event, that that is what's causing that is what's causing it is is the fact that you're so focused on you, and how people are looking at you, and how we all must feel about you is causing yeah. this event in your head. Yeah, but we could talk so long about narcissism and and the classification there is because like even in our current world with the pandemic and people being at home with their spouses or their significant others. For as long as they did during the pandemic, terms like gaslighting and narcissism has become one of the top Googled things as far as like well, I, I don't, so mental illness yeah. goes. And it's because so did people home were violence. and home violence as well. But that I don't, no, I don't no, think, but like you're right, 100%. Yeah, more and people the, were at home. So and, <laughs> the, and the thing is, is that like at the end of the day, um, I, I like it, but I don't like it at the same time that, like, honestly, it's good that these mental illnesses are being highlighted, but I don't like categorizing people without proper diagnosis because well, there's been so much home diagnosis. And here's my problem. That, like, I, like, like, my, uh, my problem with categorizing people right now, the reason I hate it is because they use it as an excuse. So, like, as yeah. soon as you give someone a category, they go, well, I act like this because of this. And it's like, yeah. okay, listen, you might act like this because of this, but it's not an excuse. No. It's not an and, excuse. And I do want to add to that, like, ADHD, like, because we've been talking about yeah. ADHD a bunch. That's not an excuse mm. for us. It's not an excuse at all. It's not an excuse we to forget people and don't communicate with them. Yeah. That is on me. That I, is I on us. I am doing wrong. And we know that. We realize that. And, like, yes – we forget things, but we know why we forgot something. But the husband and wife that have been at home for the last yeah. two years, and because they spent so much time together under stressful situations, that the husband calls the wife a narcissist because of whatever reason they yeah. looked up, or right. vice versa, or vice versa, or whatever it is. Like, I'm, and it might not even be husband and wife, but like you're the your um, son or something, maybe. your son or your um, uh, friend, friend, Spouse? yeah, oh. that you that you rent an apartment with, like yeah. the person you rent an apartment with. You've just spent so much time with them that whenever something you don't like has been a regular thing, yeah. People try to find reasons to categorize it. Instead I don't like that. Instead of communicating, yeah. they they want to categorize it. They want to give a reason. They right. They, it's almost the easy way out. Like yes. like yes. labeling is an easy way out. Yes. 
for the person that's having that issue. I would rather say that you have ADHD so I can just write it off right. than confronting you about it and say, hey, is there a way that we can like solve work, this work and fix it and work right. past like work past it? It's just it's funny because like um I feel gaslighting like... gaslighting specifically <laughs> here over here, Drew, like just no, no, here's, here's, here's gaslighting what... is the number one example that there are so many professionals that there used to be a definition of gaslighting but now with how much is out there with mental health because of the pandemic gaslighting is actually becoming a terminal like a a, a term um for disagreement and, and it's so hard to actually explain yeah. or to pinpoint people because... started using it for any term of disagreement exactly and that's what ruined the word of it Mm -hmm. You know, it used to be only when people would uh, say, no, you're cause I'm, I'm doing this stuff because of you. Yeah. That used to be gaslighting, but then it became, well, now any excuse is gaslighting. Yeah. And, and that's, or, or on top of that, I'm going to do something that makes me happy despite how it makes you feel. Yeah. Because think of like two people living in a house. I have to be sane. And yeah. I have to do things that distress me. Yeah. Well, in order for me to do something that distresses me, if it affects you, it could be viewed as gaslighting no matter what I do in order to mentally be healthy myself and vice versa. Yeah. Vice versa. Like, but it, it's honestly a lack of communication term. Yes, 100%. It, it is. It yeah. is. Yeah. It is because like, yeah, there's unhealthy gaslighting. Mm-hmm. But how do you even define it at this and, point? And, and because my, and there's healthy gaslighting. Because yeah. There's times well, where I, well, you say that, but there's times I can go and go, hey, the way you're acting is making me feel like this, and that's healthy. That's because, communication because that's cause and effect. But th at the same time, that's gaslighting because gaslighting is a term where it's like, hey, when you do this, I feel like this. As soon as someone feels distressed, then they can yeah. call it gaslighting. Yeah. So, All so, right. I see where you're coming yeah, from. So my my defense is like, if you're gonna call everything gaslighting, then gaslighting itself is not is not intentionally a bad thing. It could be both. And in Drew, that sense, I what? need your input here. No. No, he's writing. Drew, you're about ready. I've been ready, but I right, do. Everything Drew, I need right you here. <laughs> I, I, like, I, I need you in this. No, no, dude, dude, no. We, you don't want this. No, you don't want this. No, no. CJ, you don't want this. Smoke? CJ what? gets into a certain mood and it's easy just to, you don't want this. smoke. It's easy to be no. in it, but I, no, I wish not, I would have had your that, input. That is my co-host and you can't make me go against him. That is, have, that that is not you, true. Have that you is, or your significant other ever accused each other of gaslighting? No, we love each other. That doesn't mean that you haven't accused each other of gaslighting. No, we're perfect. Perfect. Uh, oh, okay. okay. So one hundred. This means wrap it up. <laughs> right. This means there I don't is no want to such talk thing as perfect. Hurry up. We'll wrap it up. But you know, when he comes back, this is a topic. Exactly. We're about. Okay. You better. We, write we it gotta all run out. with this. We're gonna run with this. Maybe not next week. No, no, no. I need it. Because need a, you got you got shit to do. But yeah, maybe, I got I got a Magic the Gathering maybe, tournament maybe in pre release weeks. that I have to go to. By the way, next Sunday, MGT pre release down in Cranberry Township. Yeah, we not that far. <laughs> three uh, in th three weeks. You can ride with me. I literally live next to you. <laughs> this is my this is my photo. Uh, it's CJ screaming to the masses. Uh, homegrown Monday pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Homegrown Monday pizza. Yeah, well, dude. You know, you 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 drew that as like uh, to make fun of me, but one hundred percent that is what I would say. Hey, Homegrown you, Monday you, pizza. No, no, no. Grow your own you fucking want. food. Home grow grown your Monday own fucking pizza. food with with all the M, uh, like all the modified fucking genetic uh, genetic seeds and shit. Yeah, you, I preach that every week. Homegrown Monday pizza. Homegrown Monday week. pizza. The more you let the government do, the less fucking freedom you have. All <laughs> right, Drew. Pizza Mondays. Pizza Mondays. You Home ready? Grown. You ready for the plug? Put the plug in. And let's go to the plug. Plug. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Drew. Before before we start the plug. Go ahead, tell the people to subscribe, touch the bell. Yes, like. yes, friends, friends, please subscribe, subscribe. You said touch the bell? Yeah, yeah, there's a bell notification that will let you know when, oh, when you click that. that notifications, will let you know. notifications, bell, will let you bell, know every, the bell, yeah, the hit bell, the bell, the bell notification. It will let you know every time yes, we yes, upload yes. a video or uh, anything. We are 
uh, the lunch table yep. PBJ. PBJ. Yeah, lunch table PBJ. Yep, that's important. That is very important. Oh, um, Drew, you're looking like you're twitching no, 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 over leave, there. Leave Drew there. Uh, he's 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 about ready to go. This is his ready position. The leave lunch table PBJ. Lunch table PBJ. Uh, please subscribe. Please subscribe. Click that notification. Click the likes. It all helps out. It all lets us see. Uh, Tell your friends. It lets us be seen by more people. Tell your friends. Fucking spread us like a goddamn STD. Tell your friends' friends. Tell your friends' friends. Drew, get that jaw moving. We're on Anchor, Apple, Spotify, now Google Podcasts, Lunch Table, PBJ. That might be how you're listening to us right now. If you're doing that, go ahead and keep doing that. Keep doing that. <laughs> go ahead and keep doing that. <laughs> We're on YouTube at the Lunch Table, PBJ. That might be how you're watching us right now. If you're doing that, go ahead and keep doing that, too. Go ahead and keep doing that. Go ahead and keep doing that. Any if you have comments, concerns, questions, anything like that, put them in our comments. They're encouraged, actually. Please. They are very encouraged. Give feedback. Give feedback. Put them in. Put them. Put Ask them. questions. Ask Whatever questions. you want to see. Yeah. Put them in our comments. Put them in our email. Put them, uh, Drew. Did you say our munchies page yet? No, oh, not yet. Not yet. Okay. Well, Keep Drew, cut me off. We're on TikTok. Instagram and Facebook at the Lunch Table PBJ, as well as our fan page, The Munchies. You can stay up to date on any of the things that we're doing, as well as, you know, some of the cool things that we have going on on the side. Suja takes care of a lot of the cool social media, and he updates people on yeah. everything that's going on. I communicate with a lot. We've been getting a lot more interaction with people, right? which is a wonderful, wonderful thing for me. Um, a lot of them have given us tips and things that we have changed on our podcast because of. <laughs> so... Do not feel like if you're going to give us uh, some valid criticism that we will not listen or that we will not, you know, take advantage of it. Because I want to provide what you want. Let me know what you want and I will provide it. Give your feedback. If you want more telescopic urinal talks, yes. let us know. <laughs> if you want more mental health talks, let us know. If you like a serious over joking, let us know. We're on Twitter Ooh. at Lunch Table PBJ. You can take part in some of our polls as well as staying up to date on some of the things there as well. And lastly, we're on Patreon at the Lunch Table PBJ. If you want to be that person that gives a little bit extra, that's one of the ways that you can do it. So, uh, before we end, the way I always like to end, Trey, thank you for coming. Yes, thanks for having me. No, thanks for an extra uh, lengthy episode, which I felt was filled with. You entertained me. You made my mind you go. You guys and entertained I loved it. me, and I was just like going the Dude, entire you, time. You I felt me... bad for Drew, like making like his uh, pizza feel... Monday. I, I put up a perfect, <laughs> perfect picture. Drew, Drew got a Drew. Now who has ADHD, Listen. motherfuckers? Listen, Drew's a perfect co-host because Drew can sense when he needs to come in or when he needs to back off. And Drew's the perfect co-host for that. He understood that me and you were having a conversation. Mm -hmm. He drew his perfect little photos. It's amazing. And but, I appreciate the fact that you guys allowed me to talk about the telescopic urinals yeah. because I thought it was the best toilet humor we ever could have <laughs> talked about. Well, Trey, but seriously, thank you for coming on. Thank you for being here, man. I appreciate yeah. it. Thanks for giving us a chance to show you off and, and to everybody. And thank yeah. you for giving us the chance to tell everyone about your podcast before you start it. Thanks for having me. And when you start it, man, we, we will... Gotta have you back help. on. Yeah, yeah. you can fully plug. Oh, I'll yeah, be back. Whatever you I hope I'm back. Oh yeah. I, whatever I look whatever you it. need help with, let us know. We'll we're we're out. we're months out, so like yeah. don't 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 it search this out. It ain't, it ain't gonna be there tomorrow, let so us, don't let go. Us know. Goes faster than you let think. us know when it is. We yes. will advertise it for you. We will have a podcast whenever it's being released. Let's do that. Listen, Trey, you wanna you wanna come enough to be one of our regulars? I would love that. All right. I'm in. <laughs> you were an amazing guest. Drew? CJ? Thank you. Thank you. No, no, no. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Doctor? 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 Thank you for being you. You're always Friends. there with the, uh, with the co-host duties. You're always there. Nice and break with the plugs. I love it. <laughs> uh, everyone, thanks for watching. Thanks for stopping by. That's a wrap. It's getting a lot more fun around here. <laughs> and uh, before we leave... I like to leave you with a little bit of fortune cookie because that's how we're doing it nowadays. A little bit of advice Do for it. this. Okay, my advice for everybody is all you have to do is survive. I know, I know you look at life and you think that I've accomplished all these things in life. I have to be a millionaire. I have to do this. I have to do that. But realistically, the only thing that matters is you.
you survive till tomorrow so you can make change. You look at this world, the skyscrapers haven't always been there. These jobs haven't always been there. The only thing that has been there is the human race to survive. So if that's all you're doing, do not feel like a failure. You're doing what you need to do. If you have a roof over your head, and you have enough food to make it to tomorrow, and water, you're doing an amazing job. You're doing an amazing job. That's all you need. <laughs> so that's our advice to you. Do not stress about where you're at right now. Because trust me, things will get better. Deep. Deep. Screw! CJ! Trey! Trey! Wait, I thought I already gave my advice. You did. <laughs> Drew, Trey, Drew, people, thanks for stopping. There's going to be a lot more fun around here. Boop, 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 boop. Where's the Drew advice? See ya. I want the Drew advice. <laughs> I want the Drew advice. I'm coming back later for Drew advice. <laughs>